All right, bro. Let's get the show started. Wow. <laughs> This is the demo track. What up, 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 what up. I go by the undeniable name of Damo. You didn't have to do that. Never not been a lame-o. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. You did not have to do that. Like, I was, I like that, though. I like that, I like that. I was trying to get him back. Yo, yo, but let's get on point. And this is that boy, Jay Willow, the podcast killer, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. the Pie Father. And this is Willow Wednesdays, where you about to get some ghetto news from your relationship, gurus. Mother sucker, oh, yeah. wow. gang, gang, squad, yeah. Grr, yeah. gang, yeah. bow. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Evangela, Mason. sister Michael. Evangela Mason. We got Michael, Michael here, Donnell here, Desmond here, Reggie here. What up? Let's go, roll in the bitty. What up? Go, I see my boy Blade here, uh, Miles up, here, up, Michael up, here, yeah. Simone yeah. here. Yeah. 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 What's the vibes? Everybody, right now, I need you to share. I like that. Like. Press and I need that. You to tag somebody. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we try. Bring we testing out the new time, man. Yeah. Yes, Let yes, us know yes, how yes, y'all yes, feel yes. about this new how time. How y'all feel about this, man? Patty Smith. Tag somebody. Shout out to you. Um, what up, Patty Smith? You know. I've never seen your name before. Right. Like and share. Who you know, Patty Smith? I, I can't even see the name. Yeah. I don't know. Shit, I never seen that. Hey, but shout out to you, to you Patty, Patty Smith. Smith. Facts. Word. Word. Hmm. Must be the new time. Welcome to Willow Wednesdays. Hey. You feel me? How you doing? What's going on, Patty? Yeah. I'm about to be real indignant in this mug. Right. But what we talking about? Mediator, moderator, road cost, selective snitching, temporary lover, always toxic gas station pill bar. You you wanted to add that one, didn't you? I was just freestyling, you know. Okay. Do you remember what it was called though? Like magical <laughs> something X. Oh. Right. Big Dick Theory. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to that fucking. <laughs> Let's do it. Nah, oh my man. god. But what oh. we talking about, cuz? Fellas, your girl goes into labor with your first child. Mm. And your best friend is in critical critical condition after being shot. Mm. Your girl and your best friend are in two different hospitals. <laughs> Which hospital are you going to? Dang. <laughs> okay. So uh. wifey about to give birth. Yep. Uh. Homeboy got shot. Bang, bang. Critical condition. Uh, they both in two different hospitals. Mm -mm. Which one you going to? Mm. I like that. We're going to talk about that later. Yes, 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 Interesting. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Did your family have the talk about African Americans? Mm. We have that video like that. clip, right? You know what? I should pull that yeah, up. Yeah, let's get so that I'm clip prepared. together. We're going to get that clip <laughs> together. So the talk. Did, did, the your, talk. did your parents have the talk, the talk. About, about African Americans? African Americans. Yeah. It, yes. it'll, it'll make sense later. It'll make yes, sense. Yes, yes, I got yes, it. Will. Yes, it will. Um, Shout out to Katrina. Should the, the should the should the man's opinion be taken into consideration when keeping the child or not? Mm. That's heavy. That's gonna get sticky. Yeah, yeah. a lot of times you yeah. know, sticky, icky, icky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The young lady finds out she's pregnant. At the end of the day, it is always her choice. Word. Her body, her choice. So. We're gonna hmm. talk about if a man's opinion counts in that. Does situation. it matter? Yeah, no. Nah, and should it matter? Mm. And then alternatives to it, things of that nature. So we can talk about that. That's um, interesting. Which character? Which character was played the best? Mm. Leon as David Ruffin, mm -hmm. Chadwick Boseman as James Brown, mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio as Calvin C Candy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Jamie Foxx as Ray Charles. <clears throat> which role was played better? Which mm. role was played better? Okay. okay. I haven't seen most of those. You haven't He's, seen that? You ain't seen the Temptation movie? No. You ain't really? seen Django? You ain't seen Django? You ain't seen Ray? I've seen Django. Okay. You ain't seen Ray? I've seen Ray. Oh, okay. And I'm then uh, what was the other two? Uh, Chadwick Boseman. Ch James you ain't seen Pan uh, Black Panther? No, Chadwick Boseman was James Brown. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I was like. I, my bad. Chadwick Boseman That's me. Everybody. Yeah, Chadwick Yeah, he Chadwick played all the black everybody. characters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was Jackie Robinson. He was. Uh, God rest the dead. Yeah, uh, R.I.P., man. Yeah. But yeah, um, Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall, that's what I was thinking of. Thurgood yeah, he was James Brown. Uh, the movie's Carissa called uh, Get On, on Up. And then lastly, pick one. Mm -hmm. Love forever, rich forever, no bills forever, or bring a loved one back. Ooh, that's a good place to start. I like that one. You want to start there? Yeah, no? Let's do it, shit. All right, let's do it. So that's the wrong button. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's energy drink. 
Uh, what is this? A shalafalof? Oh, it is. is. <laughs> Yo, it's a shalafalof. What? Shopper offer. No, it is. <laughs> I'm not even making that a joke. It's a chauffeur offer. Chauffeur offer? Yeah. I'm not even trying to be funny. Yeah. Okay. I just, okay. Sounds like you said falafel. That's what I was thinking. Why do you got a dick on your screen? <laughs> Yo, dang. Nah, Chill you don't out. Dick on your I swear to God. No, 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 no. It's in the chat. Somebody posted it. <laughs> we got a bro, dick bro, on the we have to have a talk? Yo, I accept you as you are, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm coming out. <laughs> I want the world to know. Right. Hey, listen, this is our family group. So, I mean, <laughs> this is the Will family you. group. So, what, let's get it, man. <laughs> what are we doing? You said live forever, die forever. Right, you got to pick one. What love for, love okay. forever. Somebody yeah. loves you forever. Mm -hmm. You're rich forever. No bills forever. Mm. Bring, a, bring a loved one back. This is easy. Talk to me. Hmm. No bills forever. Mm. Real nigga. All day and tomorrow. You know how much money you, you said rich forever, but you always have a bill. If you have no bills forever, all my money is mine forever. That's rich forever ever. I do that. Nah, but you could just not have. No, what if you ain't got no money? Yeah. What, what, I, I, I no don't have money because I have no bill. I, what if I didn't have rent and card note and phone bill and this and that? You know how much money you have? So wait, rich forever. Let you just no down. mortgage. Let me write it down. Rich forever. Mm -hmm. Love. You get love. You love forever. Love forever. <laughs> All the guys like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be loved. I want to be loved. No, dude was like, yeah. <laughs> Define love. love. <laughs> Define love. love? What is love? Love of what? <laughs> like, All right. So from love who? of bills. And from who? <laughs> rich forever. Exactly. Love forever. Shout uh, out to Amira on the check-in. No bills forever. And then what was the last one? I'm Reggie sorry. said, the wife said no bring bills forever. She's new dead. to the family. Oh, okay. Or bring someone back. Oh, what up, I'm Reggie sorry. wife? I'm going no bills forever. Because that brings money. Josh, you got one for back. me? You can pick one? Ooh, wait, wait, what are the choices again? I got Is you. Love forever, rich forever, no bills forever, or bring a loved one back. It's gotta be, I'm sorry, it's got to be the no bills, man. Come on now. You think that too? Because the love forever ain't defined enough for me to, like, I want to choose that, but, mm -hmm. like, it, you got to give me parameters. Got you. I want to be loved, not who you think I am, who you want me to be. Okay. Wait, what, what you picking? <laughs> it started off like another song. I'll take the guaranteed money. No. Guaranteed money, rich forever? Yep, rich forever. Damn, but you, you're going to be paying bills your whole life. I'll still be rich. <laughs> like, kinda, I'm, 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 I'm gonna like, be real with you. I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna second that because because Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying, made me feel like you know what, being rich forever is probably one of the greatest. We're gonna be rich forever. I mean, I, being rich forever is having no bills. I don't know what you're talking. Yo, being I can't say that. There's still bills. I don't care about the still, bills. I don't I'm, care. Like you realize when you die, it's still a bill, right? Like yep. it's still a funeral. Like you well, still got to pay for that. Like, imagine you go out to eat and you just get the fuck up and leave. There's you, no bill. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I don't want no bills. Damn. I don't, you, got, you, you might have you you know swayed me with the like, food. Come on now. You, <laughs> greedy you ass. You want it's never fucking bill. greedy you motherfucker. Swayed you would just food, walk bro. in the store and just grab all the clothes you, you want like, and yo, walk I, out. I holla. I holla. What? Forever? I like the feeling you got of like knowing that I could take care of any bill. But uh, there is no bill. Uh, no, no bill. Get, but I like no, that no, feeling of knowing. You could bring whatever yeah. bill oh, no, you I want get, to. I get what you're saying. saying. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it's like, like when a bill come and you could just be like, nah, shit, don't worry about that. Go ahead. No, tr trust that's, me, I get it. That is a calm, that's a calm flex. But you know what's Think a better flex? There's no bill, period. There's no bill, period. No, 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 no. We just Ain't get no, the fuck up and no, walk out. I hear you. That's sexy as shit. I hear you. And she's like, just, just walk with me. We're like, Ooh, that don't nah. mean she don't got bills. See? Mm. It ain't her bill. We together. It's on my tab. No, I'm telling you, I'm with Wade. You know that, that, Yo, listen, no matter what it Everybody's is, I got no it. Bills. I, whatever it is, I, nah, I could take care of that whole lot. Just Damn, yeah, but I'm okay. not going to lie. The harder flex is like if you if you don't even, you could just be like, oh, yeah, I know the person in here. <laughs> no, don't even you have, feel me? And just walk, walk the hell out. out yeah. <laughs> like, oh, babe, you don't got to pay for that. Don't worry. Like, yo, you asked too many questions. Like, be straight. Okay, yeah, we good. Come on, we good. That's a, that's a flex. <laughs> like in the movies when, when the place is packed and then they you walk to the door, they be like, oh. Huh, we'll make a table for you right, right away. Right, 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 right. And they bring a random <laughs> table from the back <laughs> and put it in the middle of the shit. Yeah, you're like, oh, don't worry yeah, about I don't, that. I don't never want a bill, ever. I, I, can, just, I can use my phone for <laughs> infinity. <laughs> I said, how long is the loved one back for? Just Forever, I guess. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, Imagine, back imagine not ever having to pay for, for, for Xbox Live again. I respect it. You want to know why? Because I got, I got. But if you can afford it, who cares? I got credit. It's still a bill. I got credit with the Ox I don't care my, if I got it. Still by my job. You, I don't know, you, bro. You think so. <clears throat> you think so. I don't know. But you would still be frustrated. You as a rich person would be frustrated if you had to pay something. No, I would just pay no, somebody no. to take care of it. 
<laughs> and you'll complain about it. I would not. I'm rich how, forever. Or, how many rich? How many rich people complain about taxes every year? It's a bill, right? I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm working my ass off. They say that every single year. Of knowing that I'm rich. I don't want the bills. Imagine not you know having. But you're rich forever. But you have to work for it to get your money. What do you mean? Because you're broke. Right? Just because you don't got bills, like, you have no, no bills, I, but you have to work to get money. Though, so, but you have to work to get money to get. You have to work to be rich. No, you don't. You're rich forever. So how did you get rich? You're this because of this question. question. You, the question. Go <laughs> by the question. Okay, wait rich. a minute. Go <laughs> by the question. Wait a minute. You are rich forever. That, rich forever. Okay, rich right. forever. <laughs> Fuck no bills. Rich forever. I don't know. You still gotta work. Right. That's what you I'm gotta saying. You gotta work to pay, to get money. You gotta work. Huh, this has got. This I know to get money to enjoy. This yourself. is a conundrum. I already have money to enjoy myself, and I get to pay any bill I feel I want. No, but think about it. I just got perplexed. <laughs> I get both though, because technically, if there is no bills, you wouldn't need money. But you insane. But you yeah. still need money to eat. And but eat. not really. No, you just walk in and I'm get saying, the food. I, I There's get no both. bills. This shit is yo. This, Matter of actually... fact, fuck that. I don't need a job. <laughs> I just walk in and get whatever I want. Every every walk of life, I get whatever I want. Yo, this is because there's no bills. Out. Reggie well, said, I'll Reggie said, no Reggie said, rich people don't be happy though. Yeah, that's true. Who the, listen, hey, no, no, I'm not no, no. rich like me. No, what the <laughs> hey, you ain't rich. Then, there you go. <laughs> you wouldn't be rich like you. Right, 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 shit. You ain't the right kind of rich, baby. No, what they say is like, if, I think like seventy five thousand dollars. They say is like the beginning stages of like if you make more than that, like in and, New York. No, no, no. I guess. It's a, <laughs> sorry, bro. It's a, as a single person, if you're a single person, yo, not New York. But he said not in New, New York. York. Not in New York, York though. No, it's yeah. funny because he on. said in New York, six seventy five. What? No. That ain't shit. In New that ain't York. shit. One no, K no, ain't no. shit in no, New you York. Gotta, That's you minimum wage. You gotta, one K sucks, bro. A hundred K, you mean? A hundred K. What did I say? You, you said one K. One thousand. One K in New York. One K. But there's a certain number. It's not as high as you think it is. Where people say like, there's a drop off. Like, there's only so much happiness that money buys you. What Dave Chappelle said that. No, I remember Dave Chappelle was like, once you get, he was like, um. He was like the difference between like two hundred million and like fifty million is like the same thing. Mm. Like you know, what I mean, I get okay. it. He, he was like the obvious. Oh, no, 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 I, I get that. He was like the that. obviousness of the numbers, but I'm saying like once you pass, oh, I got a hundred million, I got fifty million. Yeah. It's like, bro, we you can buy the same shit. I can. It's buy. like once you bought all the shoes, once you got all the cars, once you done fucked well, everybody with all the pills. Yet, so guess you what? You know what I'm saying? That number. Don't it's like look the same to me. Yeah. So, shit, fuck is you talking I mean, about? Listen, shitting me. That's, I don't know. Man, that so, numbers is different. I'm not gonna hold you. Unlimited money or no bills. That is crazy. Unlimited money or, or no, no bills. Because you know I, well, I, I would never need money. This, hey, but what, what, no I, bill wait, wait, wait. That is really put good. everything on a credit card. Ooh. That's a bill. It's still a bill. But what I'm saying is, you know what? I'm a nigga at heart. I want to flex on every motherfucker. So I want to be able to take out the money and pay for the shit just to show that but I that's, can do something. But that's not the flex. That's a broke person flex. Yeah. But the, I'm being, the flex, I'm but, talking about but, for I'm, me. I'm saying, Barry, the flex is getting up and walking the fuck out. Mm. And everybody's like, no oh yeah, I, I see you later. I didn't, no, that's I didn't, a flex. flex. Yeah, that's I didn't flex. dined and dashed many a times, <laughs> motherfucker. That shit ain't no, no that's flex. that's stealing. <laughs> that's stealing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're right, a thief. That's You're two teeth. You know what I'm saying? That's a felony in 22 states. What but I'm I, saying, I'm saying, is you just sit there, run the bill up, and you in the club, wild wow, bottles. You are having bottle wars with the person next to you, and at the end of the night, they sitting there trying to calculate who owe what. And you just like, I, I'll holla at y'all. And but like, then at and the then same, they like, you're good. Imagine that's a flex. or you because you rich forever. You just say, yo, hold up, go ahead and walk Damn, out. It's the crazy. same shit. It, it kind of is. It kinda yeah, you know is. what it is like. I the it bill is, is. twenty seven hundred for all these bottles. It's a yo, cyclical argument. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. When I see somebody get some shit for free, that shit hit different. It do. <laughs> it yeah. do. That shit get shit free hit different. No, I'm sorry. I was gonna you say, can't I, say that. No, what I say is I, I get what you're saying because I like I was saying I got I got good credit with the ox at my, across the street from my job mm -hmm. so i was getting my drinks and my bacon <laughs> egg and cheese I, 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 <laughs> what, what I that? oh but now nah, I, I was getting a bacon egg and cheese and he said and i walked up he said now nah, you good bro i said oh and i'm talking about the store was mad How we feel when the next door they give the damn this is what i'm saying so i'm talking about i got a no bacon egg and cheese i got a bacon egg so and you're cheese, making up point essential water no that's what i said i understand where you're coming from mm. i had an essential but then if you water said, oh no i can afford it let me buy more you'll be like mm, it's like a fake stunt for no reason it's kind yeah. of nah, if i did that i'd be like nah I got, let, me, let me get more uh, nah, that, no it's kind of I don't know. I'm staying with no bills. I might have to go if with I no bills. If I, I like the money, I still, I still, I want to be rich fine. forever. I'd like to see people spending money frivolously. You that feel don't me? Make, that don't make me feel good. Yeah, <laughs> pulling out a wad of cash to me is corny now. That's very corny. It's Honestly, corny. It is. It is. Why want to be like, nah? I got it. No, no. I ain't talking about pulling <laughs> out a wad of cash. But I'm just saying. Stat. I'm talking about no, 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 no. I'm just talking about you out with a young lady, nice night, dining wherever. That's super expensive. Well, she's an older lady. No, I'm just fucking with you. And not a bill comes like, oh no, nah, I got it. Don't worry about it. Pull up the debit card, boom, bang, hold that. There's nothing and more not fly a, than you, you don't standing even, up. 
you go, I, wait, you go I, behind I, her and pull her chair out and say, yo, let's go, shorty. We out. Ain't we nothing good. fly. Yeah, well, to me, that. nothing fly, and you don't even have to open up the, 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 the book, the booklet thing to look at the, the bill, and you just give the way to the card. But I'm saying, you ain't even got to do that. You just like. Just get up and walk out. We straight. The, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and she like, word? You like, we good. <laughs> that's fly, bro. Ah, that's that's ah, fly. Ah, right? that's fly. That might be lit. That's more than that lit. That might be lit. Like, we could go anywhere. Like, you want to go on a cruise? Let's go get on the boat. And we just walk on Carnival Cruises and come. Just, mm. It's like, y'all with me. Bags. We straight. We good. And everybody's like, who are they? It's like, don't worry about don't it. Don't worry about that. We good. We straight. <laughs> oh, nah, Barry. I don't, don't want know, no man. bill forever. <laughs> don't build forever me, please. I don't think I want bills forever. <laughs> don't build forever me, please. Yeah. I don't know. Damn. Well, it's all just opinion anyway. That's so. crazy. Any, don't nobody want to fall in love forever, though? Oh, me. I want to love forever. <laughs> That's Money my comes second. with love. Huh? Mm. You said what happened? Money comes with love. Damn, oh, love love comes you with mean money. love comes with money? Love comes with money, yeah. yeah. Love is a bill. Ooh. Damn. <gasps> Wait. Love, love is a bill. So if you don't love have a, a bill, bill, that means you don't got no love. If that's the case. That's interesting. That's so insane. you can fall in love for free all the time? So that means do they really love you? No, nah, but it's a bill. So Dude, love is a fuck me up. If love is a bill, what the fuck they talking about? It's that fucking energy drink. They trying to like compound. They trying to sell me just now. I'm not. It's just that's some pseudo intellectual. Does love? Does love cost money? Yes. Love love doesn't cost a thing. Okay, I have it. I let you give one. Give one. Give one. Bad one. Oh, bad one. But it's a good one. It's a good bad one. I oop that because I was. I oop yeah. I oop that one to see who caught that. I like that one though. That was but good. That was a good. If I'd have answered it, it'd have been corny to <laughs> say it and say it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they do. It costs mm-hmm. some shit. Hell yeah. It, it pays to be in love. Corey though. said love is an expense. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But on whose expense? Not when you're frugal, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're me. But that's what I'm saying. But if you ain't got no bills, you can fall in love as much as you want. Or Facts. so does a person really love you then? Why not? Do you have to spend money to be in love with that person? I feel like you have to. I feel like you do have to spend some kind of money. You have to spend some type of no- oh, yeah. money in order yeah. for somebody to be in love. You with cannot you. spend no money and they just be in love with you. That's fucked up. Do you think so? The concept is. I get it. It's true, but I'm, I'm not saying you got to ain't tricking if you so got then, it. Let me I'm ask saying, you, like, so then, does it work both ways or is it one sided with that? It's just crazy to me that. I mean, it's not that fucked up. I mean, if you just got some money for a ham sandwich, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you still you mean? still paying for you dinner? Just get something. Like you still spend money? Uh, I just man, as much as we talk about love being a thing. And then it's like, yeah, but you broke, so <laughs> no love for you, guy. It's like, whoa, that's terrible. Well, you just can't be mooching off the person that I'm just, you're with. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying. I just hate that it just bothers me that, that the money is the, the factor there. Well, money's the factor everywhere, Dame, well, yeah. to be honest with you. You try to, like, well, don't, don't just put it you, there. Listen, you've been here too long to not know that. I, I get it. It's just fucking me up because that's terrible. But because but, if bro, you don't have money, then that money is every, like everything yeah. is, comes back to money. That person can't be taking any care of you. Like, Facts. You a grown ass man. Guys do take care of women though if they pretty and they got the money. But is that love? Mm-hmm. Nah, that's what I'm saying. No, that's that's possession. Yeah, but do they take care of you in other ways? That's a different story. True. <laughs> well, <laughs> he said, <laughs> yeah. yes, they take care of you in other ways. Yeah, they fuck they do. Nah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little creep over there. Uh, uh, that's hilarious. Rich I'm, forever, right, I'm, Wade? I'm fucking with Wade's energy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you rich forever, right, yeah, Wade? Crazy, man. <laughs> Wade knows something we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wade over there building a little empire, a little with generational wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious! Oh man! All right. So what we doing? We be staying here. We we on to the next one. We straight. Everybody got their rocks off. So ain't nobody bringing no back. Nobody, nobody back from the dead. We just like fuck it. They dead. It's a wrap. Is there anybody? I mean, I, dead. Is there anybody? I. I'm I mean, I'm fucked up. Up. Sorry. I'm about to say, is there anybody I love enough to want to bring him back? From More than no bills and no money. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, I brought you back. Now we I broke. <laughs> like, I got mad bills. But you alive. You you broke. Broke. And the thing is, because <laughs> we got to find you somewhere to live. Fuck, you going to live. And then you going <laughs> to die again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo. Funeral expenses. He going to be like, hey, Twice. Man. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Twice. God damn it. Like, nah, I'm straight. Yeah, like, yeah. I wasted my, pa- my, my shit on Listen, you. If, yeah. If you going, you going. Listen, I, we love you. Damn. Okay? We going, we going, your, your spirit going to carry on forever. Oof. As I, have no, as, I, as I have no bills, I would think of you. <laughs> okay? Damn. damn. Shit, me. What are right. you doing? That's fun. Mediator, moderator. Damn. No bills. Rich no, I, 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 nah, that's a good concept, though. No I'm finna, 
I'm finna, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to ponder that one. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, yeah. It's English so awkward because I look at the time account. and I'm like, <laughs> 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 I'm not messing with time. Hey man, take the dance off. Amir said, I'm not messing with time or destiny. Rest in peace. That's a fact. I don't need no wormhole open up and then some next shit happen. I'm good. Hey, real quick, can I tell y'all a real quick story? I have a, a, a new manager at my job, and the motherfucker says he's a paranormal investigator. Oh, nice. Okay. We need to bring him on the show. We need, you just beat me, too. We need to get him on the show. Energy dream. He's, he's a paranormal he's a white guy. investigator? White guy, yeah. He's oh, not, I'm pretty sure he's no, a he has to be white. Yeah, right? Right. As soon as you said that, and, I was like, white and, guy. And, and, and the guy said, helping him is probably black. He, he, he's, no, he says there's no black people. <laughs> that, all, that made more sense, but I was just trying to throw us a... He said, right, they walked into the... I don't know if there's a Warren, some Warren estate, upstate New York or something like that. And he said that. Warden of the state? Warren estate. The last the people. Oh, like, Warren estate. Oh, the name, the name gotcha. is Warren. Gotcha. gotcha. Right. Okay. And he said that the first thing they, like, he did it last weekend. And he said he walked as soon as, it was a hot, it was a hot ass day last week. One of them days I was warm. He said he walked in and he got super chills. I said, my nigga, what are you doing? He said that he got, him and his whole crew of people that he went with got bit in their back. Oh, wow. What? By some shit. I don't know what shit was there. And Yo, white people just do some dickhead so shit. So I told him, I said, listen, my man, I, li- I-, I like you, right? But stay far away from me. <laughs> Get your back bit. Yeah, you, you <laughs> get some sage and, and, yeah. and, and nah, sage, bro, he, sage down your damn job because you just bring all kinds of No, he said, no, it's okay. It's awesome because, you know, we, they want to just talk to us. I said, oh, they want to talk to you? Okay, cool. I don't know. I'm straight. Media yeah. the moderator. Yeah. What, are we, what are we talking about next? Because I don't got time for no white folks. If you bring him in, though, I got yeah. mad questions, though. Hey, whatever questions you think you have, I already asked him. I mean, I, w- I would like to have him on the show. I would love to have him on the show, though. though. That, 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 he said he could trap a ghost. He's really? a ghostbuster. Yeah. He can trap a ghost. Well, that's what they did. Yeah. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I told him he's, he must be Constantine or John John Constantine Winchester, Don whatever Sam Winchester. Him, did, so. That's true. Natural, I just brothers. I just don't. I, know, I hated that show. Oh, your that show was trash. Was I hate that show. Supernatural. That show was weak. Oh yeah, that show was trash. That show was trash. It wasn't bad. That's it the wasn't one with bad? the with the lovey dovey vampires. No, that's no, Twilight. No. My bad. With the the twin, the the, the brothers, brothers who's <laughs> fighting demons. I'm, and I'm good. That show, that show did not pique my it interest at all. On this, the WB. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the WB. CW. Cool. It's a CW now. now. Yeah. It's the WB. WB. It was the frog. Remember when the frog yeah, yeah. used to be on there? Is that what? Is that what the CW turned? Is that what? WB yeah, the CW. The CW. Now. CW. Much better is the CW. The look, yeah, yeah. Remember when UPN nine was UPN nine? Yeah. And then they turned into my nine. Yeah. That's just some gangster shit. Had the Parkers. It was in my nine. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Watching he my said nine. Word. And it's all the black shows. All the black shows were yeah. on my nine. Shout out to that. What we talking about? Mediated, moderated, road call, selective snitch, and temporary level, always toxic, uh, gas station pill bar. Huh. I want to ask y'all what y'all would do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gas station bar. Shout uh, out to Justin on the check-in. What's going on, brethren? What up? What up? Names get longer and longer. Um, I want to ask y'all what y'all would do between your choose between your girl, and your best friend. Okay. Wait, one more time. What? Huh? Want to choose between your girl and your newborn kid or your best friend? All right, cool. cool. So, oh, so read, read yeah, us the so, scenario one time. Yeah, what so, scenario? Um, fellas, your girl goes into labor with your first child, mm-hmm. and your best friend is in critical condition after being shot. Mm. Your girl and your best friend are in different hospitals. Which hospital are you going to? Mm. Damn. Uh, My girl. You going to your girl? Hey, you in critical? <laughs> He's in critical. <laughs> like, uh, is it touch and go? Is it touch and go? I don't know. The, that's what, the shit just said critical condition. Best friend, I'm going to my wife. Critical. At the same time, giving birth is critical condition. Mm-hmm. It is touch and go. They got one foot in the grave, the same, just like yeah, homeboy got women, shot. A so. lot of women passed through. Mm-hmm. I'm away. going to my woman. Hmm. Yeah. What y'all picking? Damn. That's tough. Having That's child. tough. My bad, I'm typing it in. I think I'm going to my friend. Wow. wow. Okay. And there's no Please explain. Because, uh, you know, I'll see my wife and my kids later. Like, I don't, there's no guarantee that I'll see my friend later. In but there's, there's no guarantee that you'll see your wife later either. But she's in labor? Yeah, she's yeah. giving labor, birth. Labor, they, 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 they don't play when it come on to women in labor. They, yeah. they feel like they're like, they're so close to losing their life in that situation a lot of times. Don't get me wrong. I know women can die during giving birth. Yeah, especially black women. Yeah. They be killing us. 
But that's because they don't be it's giving them nothing. Yeah. They're like, well, <laughs> like, okay, here's a bucket. You'll be cool. <laughs> Push it out. Shit. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> nah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the Willow Wednesdays page said, I love y'all shirts. Who the fuck is that? Uh, who said that? Who said that? The Willow Wednesday page. <laughs> I love y'all shirts. Is that you? No. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We, we got, got hacked. hacked. <laughs> <laughs> we got hacked. Shut it down. <laughs> Shit. It's over. Um, that's that's kind of, okay. Shout out to whoever's on the wheel of Hey, Wednesday. you get off. But thanks. It's probably some call. Okay. Oh, shout oh, out. Sh- <laughs> Shit. Right. That was scary. Hey, whoever <laughs> is, don't do Yo, that again. <laughs> See, you done brought them ghosts over here. Me, you know what? You're going to bite us in the back. That shit. Reggie that said me. critical condition. You can't see him anyway. So you got to go to your woman. You can't even oh, go okay. in the hospital. Mm, that's, that's a good point. Uh, okay, that's good. Well, <laughs> that's oh, the safe answer. Loophole. <laughs> Why? Loophole. I they couldn't answer. come and see you. Your baby is using critical. I'm going to be real with you. I'm a, I feel like... That sounds so crazy. As Me as a friend, if I was... Because I put my, I would put myself in that position. If I was shot and you would get, your wife was giving birth at the same time, I would, I would understand. So I would be like, all right, go ahead. Go to your wife. I'm, Cause I'm maybe I'm I'm that kind of a friend. Yeah, I'm shot. I know I'm in critical condition, but that's your wife though, and your your first child. Right. So me as the friend who is shot, I would understand why you don't come in that situation. So I would go uh, to my wife because I would hold times, my friend. How many me. times? Okay, this might be the tiebreaker. Okay. How many times has your friend been shot in the past? But that's because if this is an ongoing thing, it's like I will catch you at the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. I was like, yeah. How many times have you been shot? I only have though? one firstborn. Unfortunately, you, know you feel me? You only have one firstborn. No, no. Unfortunately, that's how they felt about Pac. And even Biggie was, was like, he shot. had been shot already. Like I didn't think he was going to yeah. die this time. Like he Listen, made it the first time. I, like, I know multiple people who have been shot multiple yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. The first one hit, but like that second. But and if third, it's a it's friend like, who ain't never done nothing wrong, and then he gets shot straight bullet type shit, or he just got wrong place, wrong time, or whatever. Damn, that's what I'm saying. Like, take G, a baby? perk, you'll be hype. <laughs> I'm, afraid, I'm, I'm afraid of taking shit like that. A perk? No, bro. I don't uh, think I'm a perk. Uh, he said that in camera voice. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, you tough, right? <laughs> <laughs> take a perk, you'll be all right. Shot day, B. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, if I was shot, because you, you, you made me think about it differently, because I'm like, if I was shot. No, that's what I'm saying. I would put myself like in that position. If you were shot, mm-hmm. and that was your friend, what would you want? Go see your child. See your child. Yeah, I'll meet, I'll, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Me I in that position, like, I would. I'm shot. Yeah, of course I would want my niggas to come check me and be like, "Yo, I'll check you after I see my kid." But if you have your wife is giving birth at the time, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I know I'm shot, but go ahead. That's your wife and your firstborn. I'm not I mean, going." And I'm, I would never hold that against you on some shit. You're not gonna miss your firstborn for nothing. Yeah, bro, that's the fir- for nothing. Firstborn. Actually, I changed my pick. I'm gonna go see the firstborn. Look, it's your first. This is your and while, first. And while Abram's going on, I'm calling anybody that's in the emergency room to be like, yo, just keep I mean, go check. Yeah, FaceTime, let me know. FaceTime, something, yeah. It's I, almost, and you said critical, because that makes it worse for me. Like um, Stable condition. and Stable, stable yeah, because be stable. literally, like, I don't know, like, if y'all have seen somebody really fucked up in the hospital, it sucks. It's not like you talking to the person. Like, you just watching them, boop, boop, and you mm-hmm. just sitting there like, mm, he an intense. I hope you can hear me. Like I've been in those situations before. Yeah, like yeah. I'd rather, I damn near rather go see like the baby because that it, it, it sounds terrible, but it sucks. Nah, I agree. Chill in the hospital, like seeing I'm, a person out of position, it, it's and not they a fucked warm up. Feeling, they can't, con- you know, you can't communicate with them, and it's like, him. and you like, I hope you can feel my energy. I'm throwing at you, you know, but I, you just be waiting. To Amira that. said, "My ex was in critical. Mm-hmm. The nigga survived. <laughs> you, you missed this birth." You may not survive. Yeah, I feel you. I'm yeah. saying, like, I'm not missing no child, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not surprising from coming from her. Yeah, yeah. Mary, I'm married different. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, yeah, the, the child, I think it's more important. That Your firstborn, though? Yeah, yeah. That's the one that, that's, that's, that's the, like, maybe I'm weird for thinking that, but that's the first one. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I wouldn't want to miss no births. It could be the 16th child. I still would like to try to be there yeah, like, if I could. The first one is something. I feel like the firstborn is something different. That's a, that's a little special. I, I wouldn't want to miss none of my children's birth. That's just me. I wouldn't want to. I agree. Yeah, I, I feel agree. like they're all special. Yeah, it's still a child, still a birth, still a life. You know what I'm saying? Niggas get shot every day. And like you said, yeah. how many times you been shot, bro? Because like, <laughs> if this is an ongoing thing, I'll catch you at the next yeah, one, bro, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like, if not, I write the eulogy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had homies who shot like, yo, boy, I got shot again. I'm like, yo, bro. Be a when you get to the crib, I holler at you. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna lie, if it's the reverse though, when I get shot, I'm like, yeah, somebody better come see me. Oh, that's a fact. <laughs> if I'm in, if I'm in that bed and I open up my eyes and it's an empty room, 
Oh, there's hell to pay. Yeah. Jason is writing a verse oh. about when I got shot, nobody was there. Yeah. <laughs> Write a verse. I'm calling the news camera. I need. I need a camera on me now. Stat. I'm cussing everybody. Imagine you get shot for real and you wake up and ain't nobody in the, in the room. I don't know. I ain't know gonna hold I you. That's like probably that. one of the scariest. Well, you would be okay. I just it. I just be happy to be the fuck alive, man. Like nah, if nobody checked on you, bro. That's that, no, but that's Damn, interesting. I'm gonna be real with you. You I say think that it, now. You say I, that I now. think just because it hasn't happened. So so I'm, I'm speaking you, it. You know I'm, what I'm saying? What I'll say. You don't right. have to get shot to be in the hospital. Shot, right? in the hospital? I'll use an experience of when I had surgery. Right. Mm-hmm. The scariest thing you wake up and you don't have no. Because you're on the anesthesia or whatever it is, you're so numb from pain medication, right. you can't even do shit. Right. And for example, the first thing I know I wanted to do was use the bathroom. Right. Pee and shit. Right. But I couldn't even get myself up to go do that because right. there was nobody around me to do it. So then now I'm like, shit, what the fuck I gotta do? I gotta pee. I gotta shit. I can't. Don't even you hit move. the little button? They they ain't hook you up with the catheter. In my dick? Oh hell no! I mean, I you asleep? You wouldn't. Right. Nah, you you act like they said, <laughs> open up. Nah, <laughs> nigga, no. <laughs> But you just the, wake up and it's there. Literally, my mom walked in like maybe thirty seconds later after me, yeah. like trying to just get out the bed. But I'm over here. Just, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, when you want to just do something as simple as use the fucking bathroom, mm. and nobody in the room, you like fuck. I, I mean, well, I, I get it. That's I, so. I you I say that to, now, but I, damn, say, I, would, I would have to go. I would have to go through it because because you don't want not, that. Not, not if good. I'm in the hospital and y'all niggas don't come check on me, just know we're not friends no more. Okay? I mean, I we're would, not friends no more. I would hope that, that that's what would happen. Give me my basketball. But I'm also one of them people that, <laughs> like, I don't know, ball, I'm always prepared man. for the worst, man. Like, I'm always prepared, like, yo, I made it out, I'm alive. There could potentially be a situation where nobody comes right now. Damn, if you like, get I'm just, shot, we I'm are just trying coming. to let you know. Like, we call you a dumbass for getting shot. Get we coming. Saying. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I the get what you're saying. think is so depressing. No, it's not that. It's survival. Because my thing is... Well, I'm it's just letting you know It's a now. survival tactic. You get shot, we going to curse you and call you stupid. But that's fine. But we going to come. But, and I, How did you grow up like that? No, I didn't grow up yes, like that. Yes, you did. No, no, no. What, well, I mean, it's it's not that. It's just that I've been in so many situations where I was by my fucking self. Yo, so, that, like, that only child shit is... It's not that. Parents, but I'm saying, parents have no. multiple kids because if not, they're going to grow up. Please have don't. It's not that. Kids. Only if you can afford them. Do not have Only just one it. child. If you okay? can afford them. Because if you have them. just one child, they're going to be like this. No, if you can afford them. It's not glass pessimistic. Half empty just because you can have them, don't have them. It's not pessimistic. That's a fact. It's not Shit, pessimistic. This nigga. Nah, it's not pessimistic. Bugging. It's survival. This nigga said, well, if nobody show up and care for me, listen, I'll be all right. Listen. That's not, a terrible listen, defense mechanism. Hey, it, it, New York taught me that shit. Nah, fuck that. When no, I moved here, no, when mm-hmm. I moved here, and shit was fucked up, and there was nobody, I was like, all right, so I, I got to depend on myself. And I was like, period, point blank, no matter what happened. Don't blame New York for your only child. I didn't feel like that before I moved here. Don't do that. I did not feel like that before I moved here. I'm telling you, I moved here and when shit, nigga. You gonna blame New York. But for that attitude, the fact that like there was nobody and no one gave a fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? I what else are you talking about? One is the loneliest hey, man here. That you ever do. <laughs> I'm going to get you counseling. Okay? Counseling can need, probably work. We need a group I'm all down therapy with mental session. health. <laughs> I'm down with it. This nigga said, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Hey, listen. Survival mode, motherfucker. I'm going to make it. I mean, you will. Hey, man. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Shit. You know, what you thought I was going to say? No, you're not. Simone said you need a hug. Maybe. I mean, but you, you know. You want to hug me? No, it's okay. Come on. No, come on. No, get off me. Come on. No, stop. Ew, get back. He probably smell like baby milk. Get back. Come on. Get back. Get off me. Stop trying to hug me. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. And he wants to be face to face too. Hey man, COVID. Let me use your mic. Let me. (laughs) One is the loneliest number. What we talking about? (laughs) Message. Is we done? Is we finished? I was just about to say the same shit. Uh. Ooh, let's talk about. Did your family have the talk? Okay. We got the we got the we got the the video the video Africans and Americans the video. All right. Uh, Boom boom boom. I have it. Give me one second. I think this is gonna hit more for you know immigrant families. Hold on. Did you? You're not about to play it into the mic, are you? I just was gonna find it. I found it. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Oh, you God. pressed him. Yeah, nah, you did. Don't you lie. Did. He you was about did. to lie. He was I wasn't like, thinking oh, about it. I was it up. Court that nigga. Yeah. yeah. Yo, <laughs> Josh, I'm going to be real with you. I'm talking about you knowing you two steps ahead of a nigga. And yeah, he, I, I really I, was just pulling it up. I wasn't even thinking about also, it. Also, also, like, even this is kind of hood to me because I'm like, I got four inputs. You could pre plan the show, put the video on the computer, and then we could show it to the people. Pre plan. You could show it to the people? Yeah. 
Oh, wait, what? what? Okay, that's new. I didn't I've know been, that. Oh, been said that. Wait, no, 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 Don't tell no, me you got no, new buttons no, over there. No, Josh, fuck you. No, <laughs> you ain't never no, told us that. No, no, You got new buttons. We ain't here? never put a video in here, bro. We've been coming here for like a hundred years. What? All I gotta do is I got an adapter, plug it into the computer. As long as you have the video on the computer, we could we could show the picture. Uh, well, shit. Wait, so shit. you could play visuals while we're live? Yes. Get the fuck, yo, Josh. This whole time? Yes, the whole time. Yeah. I don't fight. say yeah like don't they, say they, yeah, I like do you. it too. That's why I was like, <laughs> you ain't you telling us either. Wait, you ain't shit too. What the fuck? The no. both of y'all catch these hands. The What's both that? is the both. The, I'm they, learning. They don't listen. Wait, it's they the, don't listen. You never said it. That's you that tell, Bronx you, shit you, right yeah, there. That's, yeah. that's that Bronx that's shit. Tell speaking them you Bronx that, code. You, you tell them you got that heat, and they like, huh? Whatever. All right. I never knew that. So I'm gonna just play the first half. You can turn. Well, I turn it up. Now, he ready to say, so you been on bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Tell you, I never knew that. Because right, so, we've been talking about that. All right. So um, uh, just just in case, I'm just prepping real quick. It's a, um, it's a Nigerian woman explaining her situation with her family of how they gave her uh, the talk before coming to America. So the accent is heavy. So you might have to listen a little hard or whatever. But fine. It was a great conversation. And um, I'm going to present the question once we play it. So Talk. But a lot of Nigerians that travel abroad got this talk from their family. Where they will sit you down and tell you, you are going there. Don't go and talk to those black Americans. Though. You just go and get pregnant. You get into drugs. You, get, you start become the gang banging. They give you that talk. That just go to the white community, find a nice place. Be, they just and go be and, be, and be, be, be decent. Mm. Stay with the white people. They give you that talk. Mm. So when you enter America, you already have a perception of African Americans. You judge them. Mm. And of course, they can see that judgment in your behavior towards them. And they see how you are almost like, yes, ma yes master, to the, uh, to the imbos. They see, they're not blind. Mm -hmm. So when they, when they have that um, feeling of, um, um, when, when they become defensive, when you're in their presence, it's because they see that perception you have of them. So I know I got that talk. And a lot of Nigerians got that talk. So we are over there, we are doing well, we are doctors, we are building houses, we are feeling like, yeah, so we come to the land of the living, we are there, the land of the plenty, and we are doing well. <laughs> Forgetting that some people sacrificed mm, for, for you to even go there in the first place. Mm. So is that acknowledgement mm. that the African-American community are expecting of us, especially mm. those of us living abroad in America? Okay. Can I say so, something? Okay. I... I'm going to stop it there. Okay. Um, was it clear enough? My bad. No, yeah. That was okay. Clear. Just, yeah, yeah. You understood? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So my question is, being a legitimate <coughs> African-American, I'm not Caribbean descent. I'm not African. I mean, we all African descent, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying I'm, I'm an African-American, right? And I didn't notice until I moved here to New York where all of the uh, communities kind of live together. Here. This is the first time I've lived in a place where different communities live together. And this is something that I've heard. Um, I've heard it from Africans. Um, they say that they have this talk with their family about African Americans. Um, I've heard how African Americans are looked at differently between Spanish Americans, how we're looked at differently between Caribbean Americans, how we look, you know, you can go through each one, Jamaican, Guyana, whatever. And my question to you guys, because uh, I don't know, you know, I know you guys are Caribbean American. Um, you, you Caribbean American too, right? Um, you Caribbean American. Are you African American? I'm African American. Okay. I'm, um, I'm Jersey Black. <laughs> Jersey Black. <laughs> um, I, I want to know do, did your family have these talks with you about Absolutely. African American? Really? My mom had this talk with me every school year. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Until I became of age to tell her to. Every like. school year, my mom. But with my mom, it wasn't like that came off. That came off more harsh than what my mom would say. Well, I mean, I think it's just the accent. <laughs> That's I think no, 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 I'm talking about the actual words that were said. Oh, okay. okay. Like, my, my mom was always of the mindset, hey, uh, you know how I raised you? Don't go to school acting a fool. Don't be in the hallways. Don't be doing that stupid shit because I didn't raise you like that. Don't be with Tom, Dick, and Harry when they're doing some stupid shit. That's how my mom was. I guess what that's, I'm asking. That's, that's more yeah, of a. But, but, but that's what I'm asking. Is it is it a cultural thing or is it just I, a. I believe a, so. A act of fool. No, no. Like, like when I'm saying when you had that conversation, was mm -hmm. it a cultural thing? Like the African-American is going to act like this. You act like, yeah, like a, I, a I can say that. That's, that's what I said. Like she never said okay. those niggas over there is going to be doing that. Yeah, but, but that, that's but literally what you, I'm trying to ask. But you can infer yeah. that. You can infer. I went to an all black school. So, of course, she's like, yo. Don't be in the hallways running around acting a fool. I whoop that ass. Mm. I mean, we don't we don't do that in this household. Got you. I, I I've heard it pretty much to the to the same exact like way that. that. Wow. For example, as a Jamaican, 
my mom is Jamaican. The first thing she'll say is Americans are nasty. Mm, okay. Like born Americans, that's mm-hmm. the thing. That's the perception that was given about Amer- American African Americans born and raised here. Mm. They're automatically nasty. They mm. know how to clean. They're lazy, like extremely, extremely, like ex- lazy to the point where you would think that yo, they motherfuckers don't want to work. All they want to <laughs> do is stay home, have sex, right. be on welfare. Damn, and that's all it is. But no, that's the perception that Jamaicans had mm. or have. Let I me mean, not even say had. Have. Well, that's because Jamaicans work thirteen jobs. Well, Africans have that same perception. Too. But then, yeah, I'm, of course. I, I swear and Haitians, Spanish, everybody, Spanish people. But they have this thing where they think that Amer- African Americans born and raised here are just the laziest people. They dirty. They don't know how to bathe properly. Their food is not cooked right. Like the, mm. it's so crazy. And I'm not. <laughs> And yeah, I don't I get it. It's like it. the worst of the worst. Yeah, it's like yeah. they're the worst of the worst in terms of being yeah. black, and it comes off that way. And it's like, yo, not nah, they. These motherfuckers work just like how you work. Right. It's, it's the differences that you, okay, you may have two, three jobs. They may have one job that complete compares to your two, three jobs. This just goes to show you why we ain't never gonna be shit because you know we we just so divisive mm. in our own damn community. Mm. Okay. But that's why, if you notice what she said, she said we don't realize that. We got to give them acknowledgement. But it's the perception. They that were there America first. Result. We're com- we're coming to America right. as as a foreigner. Technically, we're coming to America, and we're like, all right, they're they're telling them, be with the white folks, mm-hmm. don't be with the niggas. Mm-hmm. But the niggas built everything, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. You, you better show them some acknowledgement. Like no, I'm saying, like it's, I, it's, it's weird. Like that. don't come over here with your with your nose all tooted up. Like, I mean, you know, you want to know why? And I asked, I had this conversation when we when that when the clip came. I asked my mom about it. Right. And she said one of the reasons why they thought the way they thought about African Americans Americans here, and I'm pretty sure it can allude to some of what the Nigerians would probably say, is in Nigeria or Jamaica or Trinidad or whatever West Indian country, mm-hmm. they didn't have a lot. They barely had anything. But in America, they had so much opportunity and they waste the opportunity. That's what... That's the number one thing that I would hear. You, you guys have so much. They have so much here. You guys have so much here, mm-hmm. and you waste the opportunity. In Jamaica, I wish we had the same opportunities in Jamaica mm-hmm. that you guys have here. Mm. That's the number one thing I hear. Always, always preach this every day, every day from every family member that I've ever talked to in a conversation like this. Oh, you guys are lazy because you have so much opportunities. You guys could go to school for free. Right. That's the number. You guys go to school for free. We got to pay to go to school. And if you don't have the money to go to school, you're just going to be outside walking up and down. You guys go to school for free. You get a free education. You get it. Da, da, da. You can go to college for free. They give you free money so you can get your life together. In the West Indies, in Nigeria, you don't get none of that. Right. So you guys just waste it. So you're lazy. Um, That's how they think of I mean, it. Nah, I, can I, I, I get that. Yeah. Oh, you want to? You can get your shit off. I no, know. I was just going to retort that. Like, And what people don't know is that the country is designed for people to think like that like um when the when the when people immigrate to america they give you the stipends they give you the loans they give you this so you can open your business and part of you being able to do that is is to pretty much i can't get a loan but if you come from another country they'll give you a loan absolutely so Mm -hmm. so when they tell you oh you're not taking advantage of an opportunity Mm -hmm. obviously it's because i can't get the loan but me being whatever american or Mm -hmm. whatever from wherever they're like oh you're an immigrant Cool. Put your business here. Great. Boom. We'll give you the money. So it seems, you know, so 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 it's a thing where it looks as if we're just wasting time Listen, or no, I, you I know. get it. Motherfuckers and it's from motherfuckers learn. from Yemen come here and open up every corner store in New York. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. from Asia and China and all of them they come here and open up Chinese food restaurant. Word. They they get. You're right. They walk in. Here's a loan. Here you go. It. Hold that down. That's it. We born here. It's like okay. You got to jump through. Hoops. It's not until coming. Yo, I promise you, it's you not do, until what? me. You know, as a kid, you're gonna automatically think what your parents are thinking. Of course, take what they're saying. It's not until you grow up and you watch and you learn for yourself, you realize, like, yo, ma, and even my mom now, how the way she thought before is not the same way she thought now. Of course, it's like, yo, Americans aren't as lazy as you think they are. It's right. a people are lazy. It's not a African American thing. It's not a, you know, what I'm saying. So I agree with that. And and Amira just said it. The largest recipient of welfare is white people mm-hmm. <laughs> like i need people to like i hate that stereotype yeah. well like, amir amir first said it's hard to it's hard to hear that people that look just like you and share your plight yeah, hate you just as much as your yeah, oppressors yeah, I got that's story crazy because that. mm-hmm. like uh the first year of college i went to i went to you all know i went to hampton i went to hbcu mm-hmm. sure and one of the things that i was really excited about was um 
was getting get a, getting a chance to meet black people from all walks of life because mm-hmm. I knew that they had Africans that that would go there. So right, um, there was this really really fly looking African chick that was on like the track team or whatever. We had like a whole she bunch. She definitely of- had the cannon. <laughs> she <laughs> had to. Oh, my African dude. on a track team. Yeah. Her oh, shit yeah. was stallion. Yeah. She was killing everybody. Yeah, she by was- the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First of all, she was winning every race. Every race. Yeah. <laughs> we had a whole, she had the waggy shit. on. We had a whole bunch. Of, what's it called? We had a whole bunch. Yeah, you ain't answering. Right? We had a whole bunch of classes <laughs> together, and she thought that um, she didn't think I was African American at first mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because she was like, um, we weren't like close friends, but you know, I was I was trying to talk to her a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? So I was trying to talk to her a little bit, and the literally i'm just gonna skip all everything like we would talk a little bit she's yeah. just like oh yeah you're really cool you're really you know she's like you're really smart or whatever and then she's like oh she's like so where are you from from really and i was just like oh, i'm from new jersey and she was just like yeah but where are you from from i'm like i'm from new jersey <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> and she was just like you can't be from new jersey that's crazy and i was just she's just like you're way too like motivated mm. You're really from New Jersey? Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. And she was just like, oh. And I was just like, I didn't, I didn't understand. I was just like, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, really, what does that mean? And Whoa. it took, and it took like a homie who wasn't like her, mm-hmm. who was from, right. he was, I think she was, she was from, she was a Nigerian, but she was from, she was, uh, my homie was a Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, oh, yeah, like, that's a thing. And I was like, what do you mean that's a thing? He's mm-hmm. like, he's just like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I used to kind of think the way that she thought too, yeah, I did. but like, I, but I've dated I did too. Yeah, I dated a girl who actually told me told me that her mother actually had to talk with her like, "Oh, you should date a guy, a white guy, right. basically. Yeah. You shouldn't date African American because yeah. basically the same thing she said." Yeah. So when she told me, that, I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah. yeah. No, it's crazy. It's it was a it was a really it, I'm not gonna lie like that moment really kind of fucked with my head a little bit because not only not only was I not prepared for that, right. but then she had the nerve to tell me that you act and talk really white. Yeah. Right to my face, mm. and I was just like, I dealt with that shit in my white neighborhood. Right, mm-hmm. I didn't think I was gonna have to deal with that in an HBCU. HBCU. That's like, crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to escape that my whole life. Yeah. This is the last place. This was supposed to be a safe haven. Yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dated <laughs> you know? um, I dated a Haitian girl, and um, her parents they got into uh, not I'm talking, but they got into like one of those. They just was, was bickering about it. You know what I'm saying? And I can hear her mom. Kind of like, like pretty much saying, "What the fuck is you fucking with him?" You know what I'm saying? He's American. He don't understand us. He don't understand our culture. And, and she was just like, "So like," <laughs> and and it was weird. I want some dick, mom. <laughs> I want some, I want some dick. dick. <laughs> and, and it was just crazy because they was arguing in front of my face. Like I wasn't sitting there. I was like, "I'm here." Like I can go, y'all. Like it was real disrespectful, but. And it, it was just crazy. And she was just like, "I'm so sorry. My family wouldn't let me rock with you because you're American." I'm like, "But what does that mean? Like if." Like if I if I you know what I'm saying if if me and you are making it and we're nothing wrong with us it's like why is that a problem because I'm yeah what, and what and I'm that's saying to crazy you crazy to me I've never dealt with that what, that right there I've never I'm, dealt with t- yo Ooh. I feel I'll like I will violate everybody in that house yeah you, you want to know what's crazy <laughs> what <She stopped> me. <laughs> nah. out of my whole family right my mom is probably the only one that's li- is the liberal thinker right mm-hmm. and because of that the rest of the family would be like for example. I remember I was dating an American girl at one point. And I remember I brought her around my uncle. And the first thing my uncle said was, yo, where is she from? Mm. See, oh, she's American. Oh. <laughs> the first thing he said was, yo, right. I hope you're ready to work. I hope you're ready to have this job, that job to be, because she's not, you know she's not going to be willing to work. Mm. Why don't you get you a Jamaican girl or a West Indian girl? Because they're willing to work. Unlike an American, and I'm like, wow. Shorty got two jobs. Right. Do, Shorty got two jobs and she in school. You do know that, right? Hmm. So then I remember, I'm, I'm like, Ma, why is it that West Indian people, well, Jamaican people, because we're Jamaican, why is it that Jamaican people think this thing that they are the only ones that work hard on the planet? I'm just using jobs as an example because, yeah, the, the notion is Jamaicans will have three, four jobs. That's the joke. It's a joke, but you know what I'm it's saying? It's not a joke. That's it's real true, life. though. <laughs> it's That's a joke. real life. True. But it's Jamaicans the truth. be working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jamaicans and Mexicans, got, they work the most jobs. But and you know what's different with Spanish people, too? You can't even... Yo. Jamaicans Sp- and Mexicans this is my will point. work 13 so jobs. It, I don't know... Yo, I'm telling you, and I, and, I, and, and, and it's unfortunate. Unfortunately, it's one of the craziest things, and, and, and 
our parents will legitimately West Indian household Jamaican West Indian households yeah. will tell you, yo, American American people are lazy. I'm not they, gonna lie. It's not it's their, like it's not I, I took it. It's not their fault though. No, 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 no. It's not they just fault. automatically think because you they and they're blinded to it because they in Jamaica they don't see what goes on here. They don't know because right. TV paints the narrative for them or whomever paints the narrative for them. They automatically think, oh, you have all of this, right. but yet still you guys are not successful. It's How are you not successful and you have all of these opportunities? We us in Jamaica, we got to pay for school and we could do this, this, and this. If we had the opportunity to just have free schooling, that's the number one thing. You have free schooling mm -hmm. and you can't do anything. Be like, nah, there's something wrong. That. that means you don't want it. And it's like, how, what, what that. That's, that that doesn't make sense. That's not the case at all. Yeah, it's because it's because America has been perpetuating that fall, that for that false narrative yeah. since since we've been here, since we were taken to mm. here. It's, but <laughs> but that's what that's the that's the fucking Killmonger play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what he was saying in Black Panther. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like y'all niggas left me here. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we got y'all got all these damn what's the shit called? Mm -hmm. What's the shit? The the vibranium. Y'all got all this vibranium. We can, shit, we, we can use it over here. Right. What? Yeah, no. No, no it's real. Uh-oh. I apologize. Hey, he's one of my favorite uh, bad guys. Like, characters. Because yeah. he wasn't wrong. Oh, he, was, he wasn't wrong at all. You <laughs> got that whole movie, that he, didn't say, he didn't yo, say... Yo, he said wrong. shit that made you go, damn, I want to hate you, yeah, nigga, yeah, but yeah. I can't. <laughs> he said nothing wrong to me. He said nothing wrong. <laughs> like, at the end when he was done, he said, nah, bury me in the... What he said? Throw me in he the, said some of the deepest shit in the world. He said, nah, throw me in the sea with my ancestors who... who, who Jumped from the slave ships. He was like, nigga, Instead of I want to learn to swim. What you talking about? You know you know, it wasn't wrong when the hero feel bad after he shot After he beat him, he said, yo, my bad, bro. Yo, my bad, dog. You know, I ain't mean to. I didn't know. I didn't want to do that. I just needed to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'll if you would have just chilled shit. for a bit, we could have been cool. We could have topped it up. You, so just you came, came through you with dead bodies. Here, <laughs> you came here wilding. <laughs> too hot. <laughs> like legit, yo, I, I ain't never seen a, a superhero beat a nigga up. <laughs> and then yo, bro, I got you. Come on. <laughs> nah, he came in too hot. He was like, yo, if you just came in relaxed, we could have talked this out. Like, we <laughs> could have been, been the Panthers. Together. <laughs> the, Panthers. the Panthers. The Black Panthers. <laughs> and nigga helped him up, walked him all shit. Like, yo, you came in buddy. You came in talking about, hey, auntie, chill out. You wilding. Nobody know you yet. Hold you. That's probably, into this. That was probably one of the funniest scenes throughout the whole movie. She's like, who is this thing? He's like, hey, hey auntie. What no. are you talking about? Yeah. Embrace me. <laughs> Shit, me. We Shit, done with this? We, we done with this, this black on black crime? Because apparently Listen, black man, folks look I, down on other black folks I'm because we just thing. different black. I than, am than, glad now that times are changing yeah. in that aspect because a lot of West Indian people are starting to realize that Americans work just as hard as you. Mm. They do just as much as you. They probably even do more than some of you, and you don't even realize. My thing is, it's not even. A, I hate that that's the perception in general. It's not working hard or working less. Like, it, it, ah, that's so stupid. It's like at the end of the day, we all need each other. Period. That's right. It's also the Western world. You know what I'm because saying? My, we, my, my grandmother would get mad, like if. I remember my grandmother used to be like, my aunt would be like, yo, get, uh, go, grab the remote control for me. Right. And I'll go get it for them. My grandmother would be like, oh, you're so lazy, you can't get up and do it, you see. But if we were back home, you would get it. So, like, just because we have technology and shit, right. people associate that with laziness. Mm. It's like, no, I got a car that can park itself. What the fuck? I don't have to park it. Yeah, it's also just I'm weird. not lazy. It's, just, it's also just weird. How come you can't get your own damn remote? Sorry. And I hate that shit. But you know, when you're a kid, I, you just yeah. get the remote. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't I thought I cut that. you. I just, but that bothers me. No, now. I was just gonna say, like in the reverse, <laughs> in the reverse, fault. there's no, <laughs> there's no feelings though. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't think anything ill of like of shorty or whatever. Or of man. like of like, cause like, I thought it was old. I was like, oh, I'm gonna meet West Indian people. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna meet African people. Yo, yo, what's I'm good? What's goody? What's goody? What's good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was crazy, because, like, I didn't know any of this pre-moving to the East Coast, right? So when I found out that all these people that look like me had different cultures, it was so cool to me. Like, cool. I wasn't in, thinking, in Chicago, it's just black. you just black. We, we for real, in Chicago, you black, white, uh, uh, black, white, I give you Mexican, or I give you a few Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's just like if you, well, I would say dreads, but now dreads is cool. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a style. But before it was stylistic, mm -hmm. it was just like, oh, you Jamaican, that's it. I didn't know what shirt was um, Guy Guyanan? Guyanese. Guyanese? Mm -hmm. Guyanese. I, I hadn't even heard of that country. And I told him one time, we was arguing, and he was like, I'm Guyanese. I was like, what the hell is that? 
I didn't know where it was. Mm-hmm. Um, Kish was from St. Lucia. I was like, yeah. oh, I've only, only heard, heard of that of in the commercials. You only heard of Jamaica. You know, mm-hmm. I've only heard of Jamaica. So I didn't know none of this stuff. So what was cool yeah. for me is I didn't have any stereotypes. Mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, really? Oh, let me Google that. Yeah. What's y'all food and like? That's how, that's how I was. Too. Yeah, well, same thing. I was uh, like, I had no perceptions. None. Yeah. Me and Jay and Jamae. And, and seeing what she was, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> This is cool. Let me Google this. Remember we had the joke about yeah. the goat? All this shit mm-hmm. was cool to me. Like, it's the coolest shit Haitian people. I was like, oh, shit, Haiti. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I thought it was so fly. Mm-hmm. And then to find out that all y'all pretty much was taught to hate me, I was like, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's weird because I was just like, okay, oh. people. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone hates me. And I'm like, I just want to love all y'all. This is great. <laughs> well, I, okay. It wasn't taught to no, hate I'm you. sorry. It's, it's, it's way bigger in that. African okay. African community. I feel that way like, too. It's okay. way bigger. Yeah. Okay. Like, because they're taught to hate everybody. Because they think you're better. They think they're better. Yeah. That's right. And Haitians are literally African taught from young yeah. that they are better. They're taught that they're superheroes. They're taught that they rebelled against slavery. And they won. So. And they won. Yeah. So they literally taught that they are the that best. That they are the best. They're superior. The West Indian country. And I heard. I've heard this from. Haitians, my whole I've life. I've heard that. I've heard that. Cookies. Jamaicans, we're not taught to hate you. We're just taught that yo. Now you, you just dirty. That's but it. you just dirty and lazy. That's <laughs> they what love it. you, but, but you're the, dirty. But the crazy part is, and, and like I didn't even know that division because if you talk to a person's gang, they say the same thing. You talk to a trinity, they say the same thing. It's like every single piece. It's not like one piece is you know where they hate more than they hate. It's like if you trinity, they say feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? If you hate, it's more feel, of a warning. It's not, I, it's not. It's not. It's not. We don't hate you. you. It's more of a, like, they tell. Like my mom told me as a warning towards like African American. But my I'm half African American. I'm half African American anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Got you. But it's more of a warning to to you, like, hey, just watch out for African Americans. Sometimes they they, they might be shysty. <laughs> they gonna steal your shit. Like shit. <laughs> yeah, they might be shysty. It's <laughs> more of crazy. a warning. It's, it's not crazy. like that's not a. Ameri- it's not like that's so yeah. ridiculous. That's it's a ridiculous. People, like it's a people, <laughs> people thing, it's bro. People in like, general. That's come on, crazy. son. Like that. The, it, it's not about yo because you West Indian. Because you're West Indian, you are now removed from stealing, killing, robbing. Being filthy, disgusting, that's and not being a good father, and that's the next thing. American, um, African oh Americans. Oh lord, will you have to mention fathers. The worst fathers ever. Oh, here we go. Whereas Jamaican men won't be terrible fathers. Like what? I, huh? <laughs> like that shit. That shit blew that's, my yeah, mind, bro. Yeah. It's like how? Right. That shit don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Dog. Mary say modern day tribalism. It is. It's yeah. crazy. It's just weird to me. I it's just, the weirdest shit. It's just stereotype. But like I said, and not even it's knowing it's black a folks lot of keeping it black folks now. down. That's all. A it lot is. of it is changing now. So shout out to that. You think I, so? Yes, I, I, I can see it firsthand. I see a lot more West Indian people seeing that. Oh shit! Uh, this person is just like me. This person. But is that's me. because you're also older, and now the first generation West Indians are. I'm saying like you're removed now. Yeah, you second, third generation. Yeah, you're second and third generation. Yeah. The first generations, they still thinking like that. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't see it. You're second and third now. Oh, I, and I'm using my mom as an example, but my mom is, like I said, more liberal in terms of her exactly. thinking than everybody else. So That's crazy. All right. Well, shit. So, guess y'all do get to talk. Shit. Yes, we do. <laughs> do y'all get to talk about us? <laughs> no. 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 Because they just, because we just black, bro. That's it. We're black. black. We're all black. What are we having to talk about other black people? When for? I, I was just first, like, oh, island niggas, cool. When <laughs> I first, facts, like, <laughs> when I first came, to, when I first came right. to Brooklyn, they just got a little twang to they talk. Yeah, they got a little twang to they talk, and that's it. Everybody uh, is first, black. First, first came to Brooklyn, I just thought everybody was black people for real. Uh, on Utica, going to Popeyes, worst place to walk. You know the Popeyes on Utica. Yep. Worst place to go in. She had the attitude. She was the crazy, and I was just like, huh? You remember how I used to be at T-Mobile? Excuse me. Wait, um, hello, hi. I would like um, <laughs> yo. You oh, can't approach no, no I don't West know. Woman That's like what that. I don't know. I, I'm about, used huh? to I'm who used you hiring? It's yeah, yes, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. So I'm used to welcome to McDonald's, whatever. Can I help you? Hell no, not in Brooklyn, not that there. Way you know on, yeah. Way <laughs> on, way on. Then it's like you gonna order. Like, you're not have that. Yeah. You're not have that. <laughs> Bruh. You're not have that. What do you have? We're not have nothing. Bruh. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> not, you know none. how Fisherman is on the corner, the old Fisherman. Yeah, before they burned it down and moved across the street. Right, okay. <laughs> before they burned yeah, it they down. Burned they burned it down. We, know <laughs> what you, no, we know what you did. Fisherman, y'all not low. Y'all niggas burned so the building down and moved across I the street. I didn't know that the Jamaicans suck their teeth and they got an attitude every time. I just didn't know none of this. I'm standing there like, hi, 
Hi, what do you have on the menu? I'm like, oh, there's on the yeah, yeah. menu. Um, yeah. you, you know can. what? I don't know. Do you understand? Like, like, you get not understand it. <laughs> no, I feel yo, you have no idea. I feel his him. first trip with the fisherman. No. He's like, oh my god, it's so nice. No, yeah. I feel him so much because the first time I went into a Jamaican, bro, spot, you have no I idea what to do. I was like, what do I do? Said, What's on you the menu? I wanted. To, I had questions. <laughs> I had bad questions. <laughs> better than that. I'm like, do I just stand over here? Yo, I'm I just stand here. I guess I would have laughed. You don't. Hey, from birth, you don't ever walk in those. Jamaican spot talk about oh what's on the menu, you, bro? You gotta walk in from the door ordering. It's you can you gotta yo, know your order. chicken rice, yeah, something yes. cabbage, <laughs> liquor gravy. I did not notice. No, yes. yes. What you talking to, about? I swear to God, once I figured that out, I was like, oh, it's like being in Philadelphia. Like, you <laughs> <need to know. laughs> Yo, Dave, I can imagine Dave saying, oh, hey, sir, how's it going? Um, What I do you, you have And one day I fucked it up. What's the chef special? No, no, one, day, like, one day I fucked up. One day, <laughs> one day I fucked up and asked for jerk chicken, but I asked him not to chop it up. Nigga. <laughs> Nick. That, like, that took Nick. like 20 minutes to explain. Yo, Nick. 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 I had the biggest thing. Yo. Nigga. Yo. Could you imagine? Yo, yeah. the, you, know how, you know how you suck your teeth, right? You know how you suck your teeth? It was the longest teeth sucking I had ever heard. It was. <laughs> Yo. So I was he, like, yo! Yo, he, said, he said, yo, the nigga had a three pieces of jerk chicken and a small styrofoam. <laughs> I was just like, yo. Yo, that's I did bad not know funny. I was fucking yo, the game up. Nah, like, I did not know I was violating. I, I've had this exact same experience because like when I figured out that I wanted to cut some weight, Mm-hmm. And I wanted it was good. I didn't want any carbs, so the, so they started adding rice. I was like, nah, I just want cabbage. And they looked at me crazy. <laughs> they looked at me. Crazy. Anytime because you fuck up the way, yo, oh, yo, oh my god, yo, the nigga Dane walked in and said, "What's the lunch special?" Yeah, only jerk chicken. All right, can I have the jerk chicken? No, I want the whole thing. What? Yeah, and he had to look. He was like, "No, don't cut it." He was like, "Nigga, like, <laughs> yo." No, he was about I, okay, to jump okay, over okay, the counter. Okay, talking about, about, nigga said it comes cut. No, he about to <laughs> fuck me up. No, but my, my thing is, my thing is, what is your reasoning for having one just Big large piece, piece of chicken? Because I was like, all right, it's the same amount of chicken, my nigga. Just because you cut it, I don't. And then when you cut it, you got the, all the bones. And you, I'm, I'm, I'm doing so all the that bones shit. Bones is gonna be there. If you just tear it, you eat the shit like Popeyes. You just eat it and. Throw the, you know what I mean? It, this is why Jamaicans don't like y'all. Y'all be like savages. <laughs> <laughs> Do you chop up your Popeyes, nigga? Yes! I, I still mean, tear it apart. It no, comes come in are. pieces. There's a leg, you, there's a thigh, there's a leg. The bones are y'all chopped up and shit. Care. You be thinking of skin shit all stuck in your I'm not, I, I get what he's saying. Yeah. Because I don't want all that. Listen, nigga, niggas take the machetes. I get it. They it's do that. It's easier to eat that way. You doing that half you... But it's easier to eat that way. I do, I do get it. But you like, e- it's easier to look, eat. Look, it's, it's, a a pain, a, it's a pain point, right? So us as people, we should hear the pain point and grow from it. Okay? <laughs> it's a pain point. Nah, how dog. can we? How can we nah, increase? Nah, dog. How can like we he increase? said, how the fuck you go put put a big ass piece of chicken in a smoke container? I mean, that's true. Though, they're, they're trying to help you out with the container. Yeah. Well, so and, how did he give it to you? How did he give it to you in a foil? In his hand, wrapped in foil. No, he put in there, but the shit wasn't closed. So that's a fact. All right. So that's a fact. I didn't listen. I did it one time. Relax, <laughs> Jamaican. Jesus. <laughs> like, nigga said, yo, I hey, want shout the out to whole... Tiff on a check in. Nigga said, on? I want the whole chicken. I just wanted a leg and a thigh together. Nigga, that's it. <laughs> Relax. So you wanted a side of a bird. That's what you, you just Bro, like you go to anywhere else. Popeyes, you a leg and a thigh together. This is a Jamaican restaurant, bro. This is now Popeyes. It's chicken on a grill, nigga. No, bro. Don't chop my shit. You're not going (laughs) to ever walk into any West Indian restaurant and say, yo, let me just get a breast and a thigh. That don't happen. (laughs) Where did you get a leg and a thigh together? Popeyes. Where? No, you can't. You, you, no, you can you request get, it. You, you can you request to, it. If you go to a barbecue. Oh, not together. No, he said he wants it together. You're not going to get a leg. leg bro, it's, it's, it's a barbecue. You're when you have a barbecue, you put the leg in the thigh. Sometimes and you somebody cut it. Sometimes cuts you don't. Sometimes Who you don't have you a leg I mean, in the thigh. No, no, if you get a half a chicken. If you get a half chicken. But they still cut it. No, you don't. No, they don't. In the Chinese spot, they still cut it. That's Chinese. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they give you half a chicken. They give you half a chicken, my nigga. It's half chicken. It's a leg and a thigh together. It's a leg and a thigh together. It's a half yeah. a chicken. And when we barbecue, well, yeah. at least my family, no, we'll my say, friends, half a when we do barbecues, we don't, we don't cut up the chicken. You'll have the whole chicken just together. You say like a yeah. whole chicken with feet and, and wings no, 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 and shit. No, no, no. It's, it's, a it's, not, like, it's not like a Thanksgiving <laughs> turkey bird. <laughs> like, it's a thigh and a you know? I don't know. I'm just so used to everything whole, being cut. It's, it's the whole it is a leg and a thigh. You ever had Spanish food? Yeah, Spanish food. You ever had Spanish food with a little chicken, little grilled chicken they give you? Well, that's you. That's you what I'm saying. I, I don't. I don't. Oh, I'm. A, I must be weird because I don't want my. I don't I want the whole shit is. just sitting. I like it as it. Cut my shit up, bro. I don't need to cut up. Listen, what we need to do. What we need to do is have. Man, a, I don't need finger foods. Like we I just need, need a delegate from. We need a leader. A one appointed leader from every nationality, right? <laughs> and we're going to come together and, and just talk about customs. Chicken. 
cut hey, it up. Chill, you know, we cut, cut it. it Do you like cut it? No, I don't you like the cut. cut. That's what I'm saying. But if we all talked about that's this. That's why when y'all, when y'all get the fish, I don't be wanting the whole fish because it's too much thickening shit. I want to eat, it's, it's bro. I'm fighting just, with all that shit. Just, no, I like fillets. It's already done. So how do you I'll eat fish? cook it. But you know that's not that? natural. It's just American, It depends on the fish because we eating red snapper. Yeah, it's going to be a whole bunch of bones. Word. But I'm just saying. it's just, And that's what I'm saying. When I came here, I ain't never had so many bones in my fucking teeth. So you never had an actual fish then? I have. Yeah, but you have processed food. I typically I mean, don't like it. I mean, it's processed food. I mean, typically, if you just pull the fucking one that runs the, down the middle, and you yeah, good. that's most of it, bro. Most of it. Yeah. But they I, eat with his hands. Yeah, so I just, at the end of the day, he, he I don't, just don't like all this shit that ain't got nothing to do with the food going down my mouth. It's a fish. It's a lot of fucking work. But it's... They're gonna that's be why bone, Americans, that's fish why Americans have bones. got spoons bone? and forks. And shit. Nah, that's stupid. Dip and Dame, Dame, nigga. Ignorant. Dame, that's stupid. all food will have bones that's in stupid. it. It's I don't a fucking like fish. Bony fish. Bones. And the bones you don't flavor. like bony fish. I don't like all the fish. No, I like salmon fillets already cut. It's cool. I ain't got to worry that's about it. That's processed food. So you like fake food. Gotcha. Or just cut already. No. no. Well, no that's why Bro, if you go to a fish market, there's bones in the salmon. There is. It's that one little bone, but that's that's little though. Come no, on, bro. No, it's not. It's, nah, it's a dog. fucking fish. Not like that. Oh, he said fish. he went to Fisherman Cove and said, what's the, the lunch special? Oh, yeah, you can get it God. cut already. You yeah. can get Yo, it filleted. When the last time you were in Jamaica's said it ain't fish if it don't have bones. I'm saying it's, it's a fucking animal. There's they bones can in cut it. the bones I, out. I, I did worse. I, I walked up. I was just like, what do you think? What's good that you guys have? Here? I was like, I wanted, <laughs> you did not say that in a Jamaican restaurant. Yes, I did. I said, I was like, what are you guys known for? Cussing you out? Was there a line? Was there a line? Was there a line? What y'all known for? There was no line behind me. Oh, okay. That's good. It doesn't matter, line or no line. Don't come better that there's no line because you know there's niggas in the line that will be yelling at him. What did they say right after? Get the ass tail. Let's just say there was. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, what did they say after that? Um, a look of bewilderment. Oh um, yeah, there was a very pugnacious like remark after that. Like, just, it, yeah, it was crazy. Word of the night. Yeah, and I'm probably you. Pretty sure was just like I don't understand what's the problem. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't walk in the Jamaican. Restaurant. I mean, okay. but at the about, same time, how do you know that? I, no, I, I get. I no, will, no, I'm I on your say, side. I understand. I will. I, understand I will that. say I the level of attitude that you receive from any West Indian restaurant is going to be higher than your all American. Great American cuisine. Oh yeah, I learned real quick. Oh, really? Right. Right. The, the level, the oh, level, they don't the have level any, of haste. We you, don't have any patience. You, you have to, you have to you walk in there knowing what you're talking about from rip. And if you don't, it's like you wasting. It's time. like you ever been to your first time ever going to Starbucks. No, oh, ex- I, oh God. that anxiety. You, you talking about that pressure? Yo, there's anxiety in, in Bro, Starbucks. Go in there and ask for a large coffee. Everybody's like, and when I was like oh, it's venti. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Like, the, 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 Grande? like yeah, the, yo, the, there's, there's a level of anxiety in yeah. all I Starbucks. Feel, I feel you. You want to That's the I same way in the West Indian restaurant. I went to, and how do you know? Like, you're not this, taught right? that. I'm gonna give you it's an not example. like a rule wrote. Mm-hmm. No so you walk in like, okay, what y'all got yeah, on you here? Look I'm gonna give you an like, example, yeah, right? Okay, okay. Cool. I went, I went yeah, to no. Topaz. What was it? Two days ago. Yeah. For food after whatever, right? And these white people, I, you could tell they ain't never been there before. And if anybody been to Topaz, it's like a buffet style. Okay. Where they have everything, jerk chicken, barbecue, whatever. Yeah, it's legit. Mm. They walk in and they just there looking, looking, mm. looking. Line is long, towpad line always long. So they finally get to the register and they say, "Hi, right, how can I help you? What can what what will you have?" <sighs> That's it. What do you have for today? Uh, what 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 tastes good? I don't know. What is that? And what is that? And what is that? And what is that? I'd have been frustrated behind them, mm. bro. And I felt so bad because I was standing behind them and I said, "Boss man, honestly, you need to just try that." And just go. You sure know because that looks real nice and neat. I said, "Listen, bro, just try that." But are they wrong? No, they're not. Is, is it? What is so wrong with walking in but and asking you, what tastes good? Yo, but why are we like? You gotta that? understand that. <laughs> like, exactly. Grand, like, look, what what is, is wrong with that, bro? This is a fucking restaurant. Suzette behind me, I cuss. I said, "Yo, I walk to them people, y'all. Then Grandpa who wants his understand. His, like his cow for soup. Like I want to come back here, so I want to know what is good. Yeah, put your hey, best foot hey, forward. Listen, and this best? is Mr. This is Mr. Chicken strips everywhere. So I'm saying facts. You know what I'm saying? This is Mr. Cheese slice in any country. Hey, listen, real quick. Boom, bang, bang, boom. You know what I'm saying? Chicken tenders anywhere. everywhere. Like, it's, a what safe, we doing? it's a safe meal. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's, see that's trash. I'm that sorry. is trash. It's right. Safe meal, bro. Yeah. So. What's, what's going? When I'm out somewhere, we at like the the Indian restaurant, and you order the the, the, the chicken fish, fingers. The chicken that's Bari. Yeah, like, what time. is what that's is Bari? Wrong with right. Hey, safe Bari. Has, he does belly. not adve- There's no adventure in his body. Oh no. 
I told you this. We'll be somewhere that's known for something. He'll be like, all right, no, cool. I've been, I've been thinking about this for a while. We need to do like a segment that's called Bari's Bites. I'm going to try to bring in something. Bari's Bites. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, something. I'm going to bring in that something. That shit better look good because it will <laughs> sit there and not Bari's be Bari's Bites. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring Bari something new like every week. I'm gonna, mm. Like I a sw- scorpion claw or some yeah. shit. You're mossy mad. Never. Yo, don't do that because that Yo, will sit right there. What are we talking about? Mediator, moderator, road cost, selective station, temporary level, always toxic. Gas station pill, Bari. Damn, that's a lot. Yeah, you miss a story, Bari. Bari took a gas station pill, a half of it, and he said his his dick was hard as a you, rock. You know the honey, right? You know they niggas be taking it to. Don't agree if you don't know, cause I didn't know, know. He knows about the honey. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah, Bari be taking gas station pill. I took it Damn. once, bro. Once, bro. <laughs> 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 it wasn't like that. I bought it at the corner store. I didn't buy it from the gas station. Got hit in them Samurai X. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> samurai X. It wasn't. It was something X. It was. So I don't. Man, I, I can't okay. even. I don't want to say it was. It was another self. X. No, it was just something X. <laughs> what you took? <laughs> 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 he took half of it. He took half. It was half of whatever it was. What the fuck was that? Um. Should the man's opinion be taken into consideration when keeping the child or not? Wow. Mm. Let's drop something. Okay. Drop something for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, see if I got that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Man, put the damn song. Yes. Um, this post comes from. Wait, one more time. You said should the man's opinion be taken into consideration when keeping the child or not? I want to go to the actual original post. For what? To read it. To give it context. No. Should oh, okay. men's. <laughs> Tip said I'm ahead out. <laughs> um, okay, I want. Uh, oh, answer. here goes okay. unpopular okay. opinion. If a man isn't ready to be a father, his opinion should be taken into consideration when thinking about keeping a baby. You can't expect a man to step up as a father if he told you he wasn't ready. I don't like that. I'm gonna go devil's advocate already. I'm on the side of the women. You ready? Yeah, I already know what he wants. Don't have sex if you don't want to have no baby. All right, <laughs> piece Sorry. of shit. I was real just saying. <laughs> I, what I was, <laughs> what I was going, oh, I, what I thought, because that's what's yeah. gonna be said. What I thought he was gonna say that was, real was no, no man is ever really ready to have kids until you have kids. That's what I thought he was. No, gonna I say. said devil's advocate. I clearly stated I was gonna I say some fuck shit. No, that's oh, that. no, it's not devil's, devil's advocate. advocate. It's not fuck shit, but when you shouldn't be having sex anyway if you wasn't ready to be no pappy. Mm, What's you sexing me for? Because hmm? it feels hmm? good. You should say that again. Hmm? Shit, yeah. We all have sex because hmm? it feels good. Uh, hmm? Berry. Go ahead, Josh. Are you? Oh, I, I was like, I don't agree with that line of thinking. I have me sex either. all the time, and I don't. <laughs> I'm not ready to be. <laughs> I mean, that's what the hell are you talking about? So okay, so so should a man's opinion be taken into consideration? Yes, yes it should. It should be. Taken. I feel I think, like uh, it should. I think. I think. I, mean, I think everyone should say I, yes. I think all. I think all men would say that. But um, I think it. I think it should. But I think at the end of the at the end of the day, it's still her choice. You know why this conversation is bullshit? Mm-hmm. Because te- not technically, it's it's her body. Mm-hmm. So if she were to get pregnant and the man wanted it and she didn't, guess what? The baby's gone. Mm-hmm. Right. And a no man, matter what. Unless you kidnap her for five months and leave her in a room. I'm saying like, well, not five months, nine months. And that you you deliver birth yourself, mm. you can't stop that woman from getting that. So I think it, it, it is a double standard. We're gonna lose regardless, mm. because if a woman wants to keep it and a man doesn't, what do the women say? Well, you laid down with me, so you knew the consequences. Of blah, blah, blah. We gonna have this baby. It don't work the other way. But it's mm. a conversation at least. At least have a conversation with me first. Like, I don't hey, even come to me. What's the point me? of having a conversation if you already know what your mind is made up to be? Um, courtesy. No, you definitely <laughs> have the conversation. Have some what, courtesy. What you no, you I'm saying the woman. A lot of times, women yeah, already know what they. If you was a girl, you had mad kids. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like, I would. Fuck it. I'm keeping oh, it. I'm keeping 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 it. I'm saying because a lot of times, women already know what they want to do. I feel like not not all the time. No, a lot of times. No, I can't say that. I can't. I'm gonna say. I know girls that are literally just like, fuck. I don't know what to do. No, I'm not saying no. You had a whole friend that whole situation with a whole baby. I did. Yeah, it was a thing, and we was like, "You don't need to be that person's friend no more." Oh yeah, shit. I Word. Uh huh. So she's like, not having the baby, by the way. Mm. Okay, see, she chose Shout that. Shout out to you. But yeah, um, a lot of times, I know women. I know some women who already know what they want to do, and the men will legitimately say, hey, "I'm not. I'm legit not ready for this." But mm. once again, the the, and, the response. But she already be... knew walking in that. Hey, regardless of what, I'm ready for a kid. I'm gonna have a kid. Fuck is you talking about? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she mm-hmm. went to him and told him that, right? 
after she was after she found out she was pregnant. Yeah. So why but as soon as she found out she's pregnant, she said, "I'm keeping it," and he was like. But I'm not ready to be a dad. She's like, I don't care what you're talking about. I'm going to keep it. She, she took it into consideration. Body. She still took his opinion into consideration. Mean, said, what opinion, opinion is she taking if we're, she said that she's going to keep it? He said, I'm win. not ready. And he was like, okay, okay, I'm good with you not being ready. I'm still going to have this baby. That's mm. taken into consideration. How is, I don't feel like that's taken into consideration I mean, if you already, it? once you found out, the, the moment you found that Shorty peed, in the, peed on the stick and she said pregnant, I'm keeping it. Mm. Okay. That's, not, that's not taking his opinion into consideration. That's just you saying, hey. That's you being notified. No, you being notified that, hey, I'm pregnant. I'm keeping it. I'm not ready. I'm pregnant. I'm keeping it. Okay, so then it's that's, on the guy. That's a notification. Wants to be that's there. a notification. I'm just doing you the due diligence of saying, yo, this baby is here. It's coming. Let's know nine months. A conversation is, hey, I'm pregnant. What should How do we you do? feel? What do you think we should do? That's hey, a conversation. Yes. Mm. You just being approached like, oh, you're about to be a dad, and there's nothing you can do about it. And you're like, and I know fuck, a lot of all I did was just have sex. A lot of, oh, I know a lot of situations that now men. Well, well, you could have a condom. We could have popped. I mean, any, the, a baby could come a billion different ways. Yeah, you, you could have like, a condom. Anything could you work. You use all protection, and, and everything could be perfect, and they could still have a baby. I know um, niggas who nutted outside, didn't nut in her, and they still ended up pregnant. Nah, but still, yeah. condom is only ninety nine percent. You could be that point zero one percent. I think the conversation is worth it because, like, I know, I know of one person who what's it called? She got pregnant. And she wanted to have she wanted to have the kid, but she didn't want to do it alone. Mm-hmm. And she what's it called? And she wanted to, she she didn't want to do it alone. And granted, like you can make the argument, like yeah, maybe she could have done it with some other, you know, some other some other guy could have been the kid's father later right. on down the road mm-hmm. or whatever. But because of that, she decided to, you know, have an abortion. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, I've seen situations where um, where the guy literally said, "I don't want to have no kids," and then. They ended up having kids, and then he legitimately was hardcore, like, I told you, fuck you, I don't want no kids, I'm going to treat these kids terribly. And then legitimately treated the kids terribly and had a fucked up situation. I'm just summing it up because these people now watch the show, so I don't want (laughs) to, I used to go into details. (laughs) Telling people life. Yeah, so I can't do this shit no more, but you know, I can't get into details, but what happened is... Um, the kids ended up having social problems because having fucked up parents. The kids, you know, the parents ended up having fucked up lives together because now they're trying to raise kids and, they, and he never wanted to raise kids. You know, they had the conversation it, first, though. Like, legit, it was said up front. And his, his anger was that pretty much I told you and you knew this and you decided to stay with me knowing that I said all of this and I now I'm to personally going to fuck your life up. What I would have said to him is, yo, bro, what you should have done is just sign your rights over. I, yo, <laughs> now he's petty as fuck. That's <laughs> mad petty. Well, petty okay, okay, well, okay. No, all right. But, but, he should have just. I'm gonna be real. But at the same time, kids. But at the same time, you but at the same time, you you either got that or you got the father that leaves. The father's like, fuck it, I don't want to do it. So now you a single so, mom. But 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 you know in a situation like that, sign your rights over, bro. I, 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 yo, I'm firmly believe so, sometimes you stay. But that's oh, the reason. But sorry. that's if sometimes I feel like, yo, bro, if you're gonna do that much of a debt, what the hell was that? Because I, I was about to say, <laughs> you got here. Because I'm about to say some shit. Sometimes you not be there as a father. If you're gonna be that terrible, it's better you not even be there as a father. But, but this is what I'm saying. So, but so what she, if? But what if you like you like, you laid that out from? You have to though. stay to the topic. The no, topic. No, it, the topic is should, that, should the man's opinion be considered get, be considered so, so that's what if, i'm saying so if the guy's legit like if the guy's I like no no, kids. no i don't want no, no not kids. right now it's not gonna work no no no, no. and she's she, like well guess what we having it right she ain't shit for that you I think know? so i firmly believe she ain't shit for that damn i mean because if the if it was on the flip side and son is really out here we had this conversation about um tracy allen ross she doesn't want to have tracy kids. ellis tracy ross. ellis ross yeah, i come apologize on, yeah. come on now she doesn't want to have kids right yeah but let's say son is in there while I'm blicking it down every day, shooting the club up, shooting the club up, and she right. finally becomes pregnant. And he's like, oh, you're pregnant. Let's have this kid. Let's have this baby. No, please, 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 please. Right. Nothing to her every day, be trying to get her pregnant. And right. she's like, no, but I told you I My, don't want to have no kid. Well, that'd be wild disrespe- disrespectful if you're trying to shoot the club up every time with somebody you know doesn't want to have kids. So then what? Like a, inverted, if a, he doesn't want to have no kids, then body, why? bro. We fighting a battle we're never going to win. Well, of course it's not. It's the woman's body, ultimately. We yeah. can't do but nothing. But it's one she, of those things you have no leverage. We have no it. leverage yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah. If you don't want to have a baby, but she pregnant, guess what? You're fucked up because she's pregnant right. by you. So you got to either leave or own it. Mm. That's it. 
Bro, if you really it is don't a double want standard, that, but guess what? Crazy double standard. God, let God ain't God ain't give us that burden. We we can't get pregnant, so that's not our cross to carry. Mm-hmm. To be honest, that's day that's day burden. Hallelujah. I feel that. D said a man's opinion should matter depending on the relationship between him and a female. I agree. Mm-hmm. Tip said I there agree. is no flip side. Don't what do you mean? What that means? In terms of when I said when um Dame said. When um, Josh said, um, <laughs> somebody said, somebody said something at some point. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody was talking to me. I apologize. It's, the, it's that fucking Somebody was talking. <laughs> he today. said, when Dame said, I mean, somebody Wade was talking said tonight. Something. Some shit. When I think said, Wade is Trini. That's what yeah. he said. <laughs> somebody <laughs> said some shit. Yeah. But I said, it's, <laughs> it's somebody inverted. Said if, somebody. Somebody wants to, if, she, if homie doesn't want to have a baby, why is it the, the same level of respect was not reciprocated? Because it ain't our body. Yeah. Ultimately, but it's her body. She, that's what she's referring to. There is no flip side. Oh, at so the end of the day, like, if, like I think a man's opinion should be. Con- I think we all agree that it should be considered if the person that you're dealing with is a decent human should being. Be. Should be, but the reality yeah. of it, it doesn't. But work here's that way. here's what I'll say to all men: like you know, just be prepared for it not it's going. Not to matter. Yeah, for for not going away, and you got to be able to swallow that and accept that. Whether you, and the thing is, I think a lot of men think of it in terms of like you know we only think of it as like oh if she wants to keep it, but there's a lot of men that feel the, there. I think there's a decent amount of men that feel the reverse too. What like if if he's, that he's ready and she want to kill? Yeah, kill, kill, kill. We don't even discuss wanting to kill with you. That's mm-hmm. the thing that's fucked up. I haven't mm-hmm. to me. Well, yeah. I know word who, to you, you, you. Wait, I what? Said that, but yeah. Oh to me. shit! Um, someone didn't like. I was uh, not pregnant. Yeah, I, don't, I think that was a little crazy. Was <laughs> it? I just mean it's. it's <laughs> no, nah, I'm listening. Go ahead, Wade. I'm no, I'm go listening. ahead. Anyway, I was with somebody. Um, she got pregnant, and then she had an abortion, but she never actually told me about it. I fucked up. So she wow. didn't like. She told me about it, but she never actually told me that she was gonna set the appointment for it. Like she basically came to me with the appointment already set. Before mm. we even had a conversation about like, oh, what are we gonna do? Wow. Oh, so, so you already just, knew that she was pregnant. Yeah, we we I found out she was pregnant, and she came at me with the like, oh, I already set the date, and I was like, oh, uh. okay. So, so why you're not, even, she... you're not even gonna ask me like how I feel about anything? Like I feel I feel fucked about that. He's give me the courtesy of asking me like, oh, how do I feel about this? And then we can both go go forward. With the if she would told me she so doesn't want the baby, like that. okay, cool. Like if you don't want the baby, I would have been like, okay, let's go make the appointment together. But yeah. you going on your own and going to make the appointment by yourself, she forced that was fucked hand. up. She made I was your, like, okay, yeah. cool. Would you been cool if she have kept the baby? I was yeah, I was ton. I was like, I'll be cool with it, but I've been like fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was too soon, but. I honestly, at the same time, you could have like came and told situations me. like that. If I, I feel like if you Shout know, to Darion on the check. If you what know up, that you don't want it as a young lady, don't even bother telling me. Wait, what? In the situation of you get pregnant mm. and you don't want the baby, mm. I, don't even bother telling me. Well, I, mean, I may, I may sound that's more. That's the total opposite of what he just said. He I said, said he wants to be notified. No, I, I, I just said. I said, said maybe it's me. Oh, okay, okay. If it was me, I said I would. I wouldn't want you to tell. Me, just don't even tell me. So just go handle it. What if she asks you for money to like go get get it done? Oh, then that's different. See, like you don't want to know. <laughs> like, well, wait a minute. My money <laughs> involved pay? now. Huh? Did you pay? <laughs> wait a minute. Pay my half. money. Yeah. My money is involved now. Yeah. I right, but but the, well, in that situation, yeah. Young but me, if, when young me used to speak about it very ratchetly. Um, I've legitimately told girls, if you have a child, I'm gonna be a deadbeat. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, but it's because. What would happen is, what would happen is, <laughs> Damn Damn what would happen is, I'll Damn tell you, Americans. and I'll tell you, no, I need a drink after that's that. That's I'm going to tell you, <laughs> and, and I'm going to tell you, because because what used to happen to me was, um, oh, yeah, yeah, worry. And we have to talk about the sponsor, too. We didn't do that. What used to happen to me was, girls would, they would, they we would start talking or whatever, and she would start to like me, and then I noticed the conversation start changing. Like, man, you make a good daddy. I'm like, mm. You know, and she's like, oh, kids. I'm like, oh, kids. No, no, I'm a deadbeat, sis. Watch it. Mm-mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. And what happened was one time. I'm a deadbeat. Mm-mm. Oh, no, no. I'm deadbeat. Bad jeans. Terrible and, jeans. Yeah, and what happened <laughs> one time, a girl tried to trap me, you know. Um, yeah, she tried to trap me with the whole I'm pregnant thing and it's your baby thing. And I'm like, no, it's not. And then she was like, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm like, okay, what you do? It's not my baby. So. <laughs> you know, like, Yo, no, 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 because she's trying. She already had one child, and she was like, "You so good with my child." I'm like, "I don't matter. This one ain't mine." You know what I'm saying? This one that you claiming that you having, this ain't me. 
So I'm going to be a deadbeat to this child if you have it. If you try to claim that that's my child, I'm going to be a deadbeat. I'll never talk to you again. Damn, damn. Come to find out it wasn't my baby. It was her ex. Blah, blah, blah. She was trying to get me to be her baby father thing to whatever. But I knew it. Can I ask a question? Uh Uh-huh. What if it came out to be that it was your baby? It wasn't, though. And like, I, I, we understand that. But if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I I was like, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Okay, open your brain. Okay, cool. You love to play switching scenarios and change shit, right? What if it was? What if it was? I'd have been a deadbeat. God damn. Yeah. Nigga, that's your kid. I'm going to be real with you. You could have never been my friend and you was a deadbeat. Hey, y'all wouldn't know. <laughs> That's what a deadbeat that is, that nigga. You wouldn't that know. That <laughs> I wouldn't be running around like you know I got kids. I don't pay for right. <laughs> you know what I'm doing? Not paying for my kids, baby. Yeah, look at me. What the fuck? That's what a deadbeat is. Nigga. The fuck? <laughs> like I'm gonna be a happy deadbeat. Like, like I got deadbeat dad across the my. Is- <laughs> the fuck? Y'all wouldn't know. Y'all would <laughs> never know. I'm gonna get dad worst dad T-shirt, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Number one most terrible dad yo, ever. This. The fuck? What are you yo, talking about? Josh, show up yo, at the studio yo, one day. Yo, yo, I'm just saying, like, yo, Josh, grab <laughs> your head. That's what a deadbeat is, right? No, what the fuck? Oh, God, you serious? <laughs> oh shit! I'm what are you talking, talking about? He said, y'all wouldn't know. How the fuck? I'll be just here chilling. Let's <laughs> like this, having the same show. <laughs> Little mad motherfucker right now. Pissed at me. He's like, I'm like, yo, with my yo, dad. Yo, I'm like, that's fucked up for you, kid. Yo, Dame is like, yo, niggas damn. ain't got dads every day. Nigga, them's the breaks. Right? Yo, yo, yo. Bro. Listen, especially her. Them's the breaks, kiddo. That's <laughs> terrible. Yo. Shit. Nah, you wouldn't know. Like, yo, you? I'm going to be real with you. If I'd have found that you was a deadbeat, you couldn't be my friend. <laughs> I mean, I'm you not. But I'm just saying, if I would have chose that, like, nah, I'm, I'm going to go I'll, hard. Okay, so <laughs> how, okay, how long ago was this? Scenario? Oh, oh, years ago. Yeah, uh, years ago. Easy. 2000s, early. Yeah. So your kid would be at least damn, in the teens. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Ain't my kid. They got a kid. They got a kid. They got y'all. a kid somewhere. <laughs> Ain't my kid. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Did you, did you get a DNA test? Huh? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 She, she was already, she was already pregnant. She was already pregnant, man. and she just, she just didn't know. So yeah, so yeah. No. Ooh, Answer my question. Did you get a, did you get a DNA yo, test? Josh. I skipped town. <laughs> yo, he came to New York. They got a kid. No, they got a kid. Yo, Dave, I swear, I learned something new about you every day. Hey, if you gotta go hard or go home, man. Listen, I told you, go hard or go home. You went home for real, motherfucker. Shit. Yo, this nigga said you wouldn't know. Yeah, you wouldn't. If I was a deadbeat, I would go hard at being a deadbeat. Reggie said your name would be Damo. Definitely, definitely Damo. Damo. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. But that's why I was like, I'm, yo. I'm just like, yeah. Don't, don't have a baby by me. <laughs> you won't be a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that. Don't have a baby by me. Yo, that's it. Niggas that's... ain't got dads every day, B. <laughs> yo, right. yo, Josh. <laughs> you tough, tough right? You <laughs> can't You know what I'm saying? Terrible. Yo. Terrible. Yo. Learn how to wrestle or something. I don't know. Shit. Yo, All right. Josh. Nah. I you, saw your face. You, hey. You, that you, nigga need to get a, you need to get a DNA test. On that, kid, on that kid. I don't even know my name. <laughs> Yo, I tried to forget her because you were trying to trap me. Dame so got no. a, Dame got a kid. Bro. Nah, I ain't got Dame no kid. Got a kid Dame, Dame Chicago, got a kid. Bro. I have no children Dame nowhere. Got a kid running around in Chicago, bro. <laughs> shoot shoot, shoot, shoot <laughs> her shit up. Just angry than a motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't got no dad. <laughs> I'm like, well, killer niggas. <laughs> Doing splits on skates. <laughs> Imagine the great world's skater. greatest skater. <laughs> Yo, Dame, Terrible. you know what? I oh love Dave's music. All right. But um You ain't shit. That's terrible. I just want you to know hey, you listen, ain't shit. I didn't say I did it. I said if I was to go that hard, I would go that hard. Yeah. You could not listen, be my friend and be a deadbeat. Hey, man. Man. Yeah, I, hey, I, I, man. I, I, I don't listen. condone those in my circles. Y'all wanna you fuck with me for being a man of my word though? No, he wouldn't have been his friend. You wanna fuck with me for being a man of my word though? No, that's no, honorable. Nigga. I mean I'm that's that's honorable. Honorable. I'm to be a man, man of your word, that's honorable. I said I'm gonna be a shows integrity. I said I'm gonna be a piece of shit and I am. No, nah, like, he couldn't be my friend no more. I wouldn't be a friend. Of y'all wouldn't be like he got integrity. No, no what? Because you're a dad. I'm a man of my word. I'm not know. a dad. I'm a deadbeat dad. I'm just sticking to the plan, baby. Yo, That's no. Terrible. So it's consistency. Consistency. I, I ain't never been there, right? <laughs> Discipline. Okay. <laughs> Discipline. Discipline. Consistency. 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 For okay. being ain't shit. I'm just saying, okay. like, it ain't hard to be ain't shit. No, but if you keep nah, that it up, is. it is. It's it is hard to be. It ain't is hard. Some people grow a heart, and if you just feel like I'm being shit forever, like that is hard to be ain't shit. You ever tried to be fucked up? <laughs> Me and Micah said, I think Maybe I met Dame's son last week. Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Micah. <laughs> 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 
say that Aldi. That at Aldi. Aldi. <laughs> really punctuates that shit. That's fucked up. I'd be at Aldi every fucking week. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they got chocolate. It's mad cheap. <laughs> Shout out to Aldi. Shout, Shout out to Aldi. Shout out to Aldi. Aldi. Yo, so we, we done with this one? We done with Dame Dame's toxic Yo, I fell hey, sick man, kids. Hey. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Fell sick yeah. Kid yeah. Kids. Take care of him. Shut I'm up, with Dame. It. Shut up, Dame. What? Yo. To wrap it up, it's still fucked up that women have all the power. No, women have all the power and it's fucked up. Because if you want that kid and she don't, it's gone. But if it's you don't gone. want that kid and she do, it's there. That's it. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You could be a deadbeat. Mm. So, you right. do have that right. Mm? You have a right to be a deadbeat? Yeah. You know I mean? Well, I, I feel like that's... If you don't want it, you have that right to be a like, deadbeat. I mean, sign over your rights. Sign over your rights. Sign over your rights. Do it the right no way. No parental rights. Sign over your rights then. I mean, you're still a deadbeat. Okay. Okay. Send the paper. You're still a deadbeat, though. No, yeah. but you was on some shit like, nah, I'm going to purposely hide from you. Oh, no. And I used to get into arguments with her, too. Like, anyway, let me, let me, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Nah, because she was like, I'm going to still get that check. If you had, I was like, I will purposely be unemployed. Are you tripping? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't my baby. Like, I was like, yo, I, I would just to piss her off. Like, I would. Yo, what? This thing I would work for shit. cash only. Yo, <laughs> 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 I would mow lawns. Oh, and, you know what I'm saying? I would, I, I would shovel driveways, pick yo, up garbage. Like, I, yo, no. Josh. Y'all better what they ain't doing, picking up Josh. cans, nigga. I ain't, no. Yo, I Josh. told you. Like, I feel like you learn something new every bruh, day. Listen. They ain't really ain't shit. No, it's not. It's no. And I was like, just because we having this conversation, I'm done talking to you. Like, no. I will personally, no. You trying to make me raise your kids? What you trying to do? Did you? You need to get a DNA test. I'm nah, I, I don't even remember my name, but yo, I'm telling you. Well, she, she remember to, yours. I, <laughs> okay, she remember yours. That motherfucker gonna turn Just 18 and be like, track. Dad. <laughs> yeah, I had to catch me in the streets. <laughs> Just know whatever paperwork we be end up signing in the future, <laughs> you gonna have your own because I don't need nobody coming over my shit. Okay, I don't have no kids. Yeah, they man. come at your shit. Don't come at my <laughs> oh, shit. Don't have no shit. We gonna have two separate contracts. It's gonna be <laughs> Willow Wednesdays and a day because don't. Nope, I'm separate from this motherfucker. Hey man, listen. <laughs> Back child support. Man, my word. Fuck that. Uh -huh. Present drop. What are we talking about, mediator, <laughs> moderator, roll call? <laughs> Gas station pill bar. <laughs> Which character was played the Shout best? Shout out to Shaky on the check in. Shout what up, Shaky? Shaky. Was goody, was goody. Everybody hit the like and share button. Share, share, big share. Facts, Tag somebody. Bring facts. them to church. Oh, yeah. Which character was played the best? Leon as David Ruffin. Chadwick Bozeman as James Brown. Leonardo DiCaprio as Calvin Candy. Or Jamie Foxx as Ray Charles. Mm. Oh, man. I, pick, um, I already got mine. So Jamie and Ray, Leonardo DiCaprio as the racist white man in Django, um, Leon as David Ruffin, and Chadwick, and Chadwick as, Bozeman as um, James, Brown. James Brown. I already got mine. I say Jamie as Ray Charles. Uh, who was it? Jamie. Jamie is Ray. Leon is David Leon Ruffin. Leon is David Ruffin. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as Calvin Candy. Who's the other one? There's one more. Chadwick Boseman, Chadwick Boseman, Boseman as James Brown. James, James Brown. Brown. Okay. I'm just and you said you're going Jamie. Yeah, I'm going cool. Jamie. For sure. What you going to go? I'm going Jamie. Going Jamie. Okay. Yo, I thought he was blind for real. <laughs> I told you this earlier. I thought he was legit blind. Well, he I did. I mean, I heard. I mean, like I heard, like he was like <coughs> purposely like wearing a blindfold. Yeah, like, no, he he, yeah, he he was like he was like method. He went acting. blind for like not you know what I mean, but he yeah. he, yeah, covered he was his a method actor. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. definitely walked around and blind for like months. What you think? He learned there? to play the piano too. Yeah. I thought I thought he already knew. No, yeah. I mean, he knew. He, knows how he learned how to play blind. Oh, he learned how to play. He learned how to do everything blind. Walk blind. Talk blind. Yeah. Move around blind. I, I like Leonardo, but I'll go with um I would go with Jamie just because it was for the full movie. I'm Jamie going Leonardo DiCaprio. I think that was a better one too. But mm. Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah, one of the best scenes. I, I know. Oh, she said he glued his eyes. Wow. The, the reason why I don't go Jamie is because watching Ray, I still saw Jamie Fox. Watching watching Django, I forgot that was Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. He played the role of a racist white man so good. Yeah. He was saying nigga so good. I was like, no, fuck this dude, bro. 
And he like, was diabolical. He was too the, damn good. The type of mm-hmm. the type of it was not Leonardo DiCaprio. It was not Leonardo DiCaprio on that screen. Is like I think that's like top five. Yeah, but is that is that dude? Is that guy a real person though? No. Well, it didn't have to be a real person. I don't think it was just be inserted a white slave owner here. Like it was a real person. It was a real time. I mean, the reason why I go Jamie is because it's just like I look at Ray Charles, like you know seeing him and I was just like oh wow that dude really so the best impersonation best impersonation <laughs> got you he played yeah Jamie looked like and he Ray literally Charles. looks like him like with the glasses on that motherfucker and he was a lead like character him. he carried that whole movie okay uh, Jamie, oh, Jamie, Jamie right yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, Leonardo DiCaprio Crazy embodied was in both racism. Mm-hmm. I looked at that movie and I was like, "Yo, fuck that guy!" And I was like, "Oh shit, that's Leonardo DiCaprio." Like, <laughs> I lo- I got lost in the role when I yeah. saw Ray, when I saw Ray. I'm yeah, like, "Oh, Jamie Foxx." I was right. like, "Jamie Foxx is a dope ass actor." Right. But that's, right. that's what I saw when I saw Ray. I didn't see, "Oh, that's Ray Charles." Right. I still was like, "Jamie Foxx is fire. That right. nigga can do it all." Mm. But when I saw Calvin Candy, I'm like, "No, fuck that guy, bro. Like, no, yeah. What the I- fuck?" I remember what? watching that movie, I, and I do agree. Like he, the when he Shout said "nigga" as a white man, it was like check-in. you felt it when he said it. You know how in movies white people will say the word "nigga" and you be like, uh, they had whatever. to pull that out of him though. Like, cause he, um, what's I heard his name? He didn't Samuel, Jackson. Samuel Jackson. Yeah, had he did. Say, Yo, it's okay. He, he said he struggled. You know what I'm saying? Trying to pull that because that's really not him. Oh, like, uh, guess what? It pulled out of him. Shit. <laughs> Shit, me. But you know. I think to this day, still Leonardo. I still think to he this day, that, Leonardo DiCaprio is racist because of that movie. I'm dead serious. Mm. That's how good the role was. Mm. That speech was exceptional. I don't care that dinner, that dining room scene when he was having that speech. Yeah. That was one of the. It know. wasn't acting. I feel like he lived that. That was a great. Scene. And he really got in the character. Like right. when he he slammed the table down and yeah. he cut his he hand. Really cut his he hand. really cut his hand. He but, wiped the blood on her face. But you see why I say he's not about to wipe than... no real blood on me. <laughs> and sorry. even when she he jerked, like that was real. Like she jerked because he put he really blood on her face. Blood. Yeah. Listen, but that's why I say it's Ooh. better than Ray. Uh, Y'all making my point for me. Thank I'm, you, David Ruffin. Eh. I like them better. Chadwick Boseman, okay. Oh no 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 no! Homie played a know. great David Ruffin. Um, but the Chadwick Boseman thing, I think he did a good job because he—it's hard to look like James Brown. I just no. can't even imagine. He that. just has such a definitive look. Oh, you never no, seen it. No, but he killed that seen it? role. He killed. No, he did a great role, job. But he just—he he didn't look like him so much to the point where it's like, eh. ah, I have to see it now because it's like—it's it's good because it, that is a good movie because I didn't even know it and like, but like having not seen it, I'm just now like, you want to. No, yeah, I want it because I'm just like you can't imagine. I can't like, imagine that shit. Like I'm like he doesn't look oh, like really? him. We don't look like him. But he in terms of the acting role. of it, he mannerisms. He was moving. He was. He sounded like the nigga. Yeah, he, he talked like him. He, he, um, he did. That was he a did great, great role. Job. He, did. he did a great he job. Really did do a good job. Ain't better than Calvin Candy. Mm. Ain't better than Leo. You know who who we should have put now? That I think about it. Who? Um, it just hit me. What's love got to do with it? Uh, what's it called? It playing uh, Ike. Um, you mean um. Um, no. Morpheus? Yeah, because we like cats hated him until him until Morpheus. Morpheus. Right. That's Lord, what I'm saying. Why do we call him? Everybody Lawrence hated Fish, him. He's Morpheus. Lawrence Everybody Fish. hated him Lawrence until Morpheus. Lawrence Lawrence Fishburne. Everybody Fishburne. hated Lawrence Fishburne until till he became Morpheus. Well, like, Denzel and over. But that's what I said. Why, what's up with Denzel being Malcolm X? I thought I'm just tired of talking about Denzel, man. We always talk about Denzel. And, like, I think Denzel. I think Denzel as um Herman Boone was better than Malcolm X. As who? Herman Boone, the guy in Titans. You remember? He killed every scene in that movie. But it's Denzel, like. Cause I like the father from uh, the one with his son. He did the heart. John Q. John I Q. like John Q. Bro. Oh, when he was going to shoot, his he was son? like, "I'm gonna kill myself." Right. No, nah, in the same way. That's why I don't like to talk about Denzel. I st- I st- he... But I, I still see Denzel acting as Malcolm X. I'm sorry, like he did an amazing job. Don't get me wrong; it was a I fire think. role. So you see, no. but I you see... see Malcolm X in every role. <laughs> no, no, I see no, he Denzel. Denzel playing Malcolm X. He you see Denzel, Denzel playing Malcolm X. I see Denzel in every role. He Den- doesn't see Denzel... Malcolm X being Malcolm X in when he plays. And it was a great role. He did his thing. But I still see Denzel acting in a movie. I literally, like I'm saying, like with me, I literally got lost to the fact that this was a movie. I was right. watching, maybe because it was slavery and it was, it was pulling at your, it, like, yeah, may, it's maybe, your heartstrings. It, yeah, maybe because it's that. But mm-hmm. I literally forgot that this was Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. And then when I snapped back and I was like, okay, it's Leonardo DiCaprio, I was like, yo, fuck that guy. What makes bro. that movie? I, di- I started disliking Leonardo DiCaprio, who's acting. And he's a great fucking actor. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's him. how good that role was. I think people don't realize that movie has so many heavyweight actors in it. You, you know, you know, as like the other role, like in the same vein as you guys saying that about Leo being like that super like epitome of like white racist mm-hmm. person or whatever. Uh, Christoph Waltz, who was also in the movie, mm-hmm. he was the dude that who played the Nazi in Inglorious Bastards, even the other 
Got you. Yep. That dude in Inglorious He's Bastards. a dope actor. Because mm. he was really good in Django, too. Yeah. yeah. He was really good in Django, too. But him playing a Nazi, yeah. his role with, like, you know, that scene in the opening, like, I think it's like the opening scene. Where, in what? Where, in, in, in Glorious in Bastards. In Glorious Bastards, where he's going to a Frenchman's home to find mm-hmm. Jewish people that are hiding out in that Frenchman's home. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's just like... The way that he moved throughout that scene was like the most sinister shit I'd ever seen. You think that's him in real life? Right. Yeah, well, I was just weird. like, yo, yeah. like I mean, like he was. Like you acted too good, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, that shit is scary. He was just like, he tried to play it all cool, and he's just like, the Jews are underneath the floorboards, aren't they? Yeah. And this is after drinking that dude's milk. <laughs> like, like, he's just like, your daughters are beautiful. Send them outside for a moment. Do you yeah. have a glass of milk? for Everybody me? did. Wow. Yeah. Every <laughs> everybody <laughs> did. Like that shit was insane. So. Listen. That's just crazy, man. Yeah. Some people can really get into them roles, bro. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it, it takes a lot for for people to get into it. You got to go to a different place. Yeah, like Th- they said, um, what's the dude who played Batman? What's his Christian? Heath Ledger, or Heath Ledger or Batman? Which guy? Heath Ledger was Joker. No, um, oh, what's his name? Where you just said the Batman gentleman? I'm sorry, Christian Bale. Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. I was gonna say Christian. They said he Walker. played some role where he was Batman. And he had to put on like 40, 30 pounds of muscle. Then he had another role where he had to look like a sick crackhead or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fighter. I like think it was in the fighter. He lost pounds. all the weight. And yeah. He got, so, he got so lost Oh, yeah. He shit. looked crazy. He and looked he crazy. Looked beyond, and then right after that, he had to do Batman Begins right after that. And he yeah, put he on all, put that on, muscle, yep. all that weight plus another 30, 40 pounds. They really get into it. And, and a lot of them, it, <clears> it messes <throat> with their psyche according to how Dr. Roll is. You they know? said they messed up Joker. You see what happened. Yeah. He gone. Yeah. No, a lot of people. <laughs> um, gone. What's it called? It, um, Michael B. Jordan said that about Killmonger. He was like, he had to internalize what that role meant. He was like, he needed counseling after that, like for a couple Word? of weeks. Yeah. Because you got to reach down into some shit that you may really feel for real. I mean, hey, he's the best bad, best bad guy we ever and, had ever. You know, so. I don't know nobody. I don't know no black man that hate him for real. I just, I, I mean, I, you know, I, w- I would like to get into acting one day, but that shit scares me. Cause like, you gotta pull some shit out that you yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't wanna be up there talking about I'm a deadbeat dad, you know, move screen and shit. I'm a deadbeat dad. But you really are one. one. Like, you know what I'm saying? But but I, I, and I gotta play a deadbeat dad. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo. I, I mean, Will Smith did it when he was talking about his daddy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you Man, hey, I, you I draw from something that's real. That's you ain't a dead, you a deadbeat dad now? I'm not a deadbeat dad. You are? That was, no, it was a role. No, it wasn't I was playing a role to not be a baby daddy. To so this mean, woman's you kids. You ain't live as long as you live and not be a deadbeat dad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you lived like four lifetimes, bro. <laughs> fucking warlock. That's terrible. <laughs> Nigga, damn mad old <laughs> fucking ligaments. Is t- no, let me stop. Okay. Hey, now. I had physical therapy today. Fuck that. I feel great. Bro, so don't the- say that out loud. You sound bad. I, you sound I old feel great. You know what I sound? Physical therapy? You I don't give a fuck how I sound. I feel great. Bad. What's wrong with freaking... <laughs> Fickle. Figure, figure, figure What's wrong with physical therapy? It makes you sound old. You say I had physical therapy. Bro, young people, I, shut up, Barry. You play sports your whole life. You never I'm had like physical I, therapy. I'm like I do that every day. <laughs> oh physical yeah, you have physical therapy for your for your leg. Yeah, for my for foot. foot, foot yeah. for foot. Yeah, yeah. See, all right, whatever, man. Was that it? I mean, but Dane really old though. Oh, so it's different. It's right. different. I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Oh what shit, else? that's that. Mm-hmm. That was it. That's it. Mm-hmm. We did it. It's all the topics. We finished all six. It's eleven to one. Did we finish on Word? time? On time. <laughs> we finished on time? We finished on time. Wait a minute. I with think all I, the topics. I think being early helped us out. You think so? That's great. Time to go home. Hey, it's been Willow Wednesday. <laughs> Real quick. I want to shout y'all out. Thank you for watching Willow Wednesday. We didn't talk about Please, the sponsor. Again. Wait, we slide Real it over. Quick. Real quick. Go for it. Actually. Shout out to the sponsor, Lifted. Yes. Pink Drip. It is filled with lemongrass. We have the worst pitch this? in the history. Jesus Christ. That was really what it. What is it? Can you, can, describe can you what give it me is? that bottle? I can pitch that shit. Please, Jesus. please. This, like, what? God. I'm trying to find a song. That was horrible. I was just going to read from the bottle. He said, we got something here. Right. It's, a, it's liquid. All right. I know no one can see my face. The right. voice. The voice. But King Pink Drip. Yeah. Mm. Inspired by the original King Pink Drip. Yeah. <laughs> I know AKA Crystal Light Lemonade. <laughs> With no sugar. <laughs> With no sugar. That's right. But... Y'all need to go out and get yourself a bottle mm-hmm. of Lifted Spirits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll change your life. Mm-hmm. And not only will it change your life, if mm-hmm. you have a significant other, it will smooth everything over like that's him. going on. Any friction, mm-hmm. I promise you. And mm-hmm. not only is it alcoholic spirits, they mm. also have medicinal 
spirits. You well, know what I'm talking about. Talk well, that shit. some leafy write spirits. This, hey, well, write that on the board so you can take this as an ad clip well, for us. Shit. You I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna tell okay. you a little bit about King Pink Drip because Barry can't read. All right, <laughs> he oh, can't. He can't. Oh, it's got lemongrass, hibiscus, sage, scotch whiskey, cognac, orange, liqueur, blue agave, lemon, and lime, and there are no artificial <clears throat> ingredients whatsoever. Mm. None, mm. none whatsoever. Mm. So you know what you you know what you, you know everything that's listed on the bottle is what you are drinking. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Pass you know, the, and let mm-hmm. me tell you something. The bottle is heavy. <laughs> Pass the Josh. The bottle Ooh. is heavy. Hallelujah. Shout out to Taz. Support a black owned business. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Support a black owned female business. Hallelujah. God damn it, one more time. <laughs> and enjoy yourself some delicious spirits. God bless. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Hey, real quick, also on you. Yeah. Um, real quick, I want to also shout out B Condom. Y'all niggas ain't been ordering no condoms, y'all nasty fuckers. Wow. That means y'all been having unprotected sex, which means you fall, you fellas want to be Debbie daddies like Dane. I'm not a Debbie dad. Yes, you are. Just own it. But once again, I need y'all to use that promo code WWS20 and get some B Condom. Shout out to them. We already know support black owned business like Josh said. It's How many lit. condoms have you used out that box? You're asking a lot of irrelevant questions. Is there still condoms <laughs> left? <laughs> You're asking a lot of irrelevant questions. Shout out B condoms. <laughs> you threw out the box. Like yeah. It's, 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 you threw out the box? Don't no, throw out the no, box. No, no, no. I didn't throw out the box. Okay. Can we, you keep them all for yourself? <laughs> Mm-mm. No, I said it's, I got it in the car. Listen, man, we about to get the fuck up out of here. But uh, what I will do as a nice little treat, uh, my EP drops on Friday. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. What to, a year! What a year! What a year! Everybody knows about the the, the goddamn remix that's been a single. But we about Ooh. to play something new tonight from the project. Oh, are you gonna talk a little bit about what happened before the uh, before before today's show? Oh that, shit! Yeah. Um, sh- shout out to um artist artist the artist. Uh, they 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 had oh, me yeah. on the the show. You looking out. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, dope interview. Um, look out for that. That should be dropping f- uh, Friday on all platforms. So shout out to Artist to Artist. That was a, a dope interview that we did. Mm-hmm. Um, talking about what a year. That's I'm about to play his record because he's gone. But we're going to do that. Um, nobody heard his record. It's some new shit. Me featuring Dane. Let's talk about it. Jesus. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Will it play? Well, you know, his shit going to take... Might take a few. But once mm-hmm. again, shout out to me and me and me. <laughs> I be doing stuff. Word. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't. Okay, there we go. Oh no, I like this song. This my. I like. You gotta let this whole song play. Yeah, this one master different. <laughs> yeah. I like that this. this one hit though. Yeah. yeah. Like we been hella down for a while. You been frontin' in the crowd. We been bugging, trying to make this money pile up. I ain't coming down for a while. Keep on frontin' on the sound. Better thug, thug when you hear the bow. Look, I've been chasing bass for a minute. I see they get offended. All this cat, cat, cash in my sense. Look, I've been a man for a minute. She's cheating on a man. Hit my dad, dad, dance while I'm in it. Look, I could change her life though. Rubber bands get the busted. Then ain't nothing when she throw it. Gotta touch her neck and lookin' like a light show. Never front, boy. Do this shit for none. Niggas know if it's love, then it's love. We be out. Yeah, if it's war, we gon' slide, that's a slice show Big stepper, got him walking on a tightrope Damn, Willow, why they mad? Hell if I know, yeah The hottest nigga out my city They say protect your neck, so now my shit is dripping VVs Run up on the set, no disrespect, just give me six feet Mask on, cast a runa for they get me These niggas actin' hardcore, we know they cardboard Stackin' money, we work hard for, they send it all short Look, my kids gon' eat, fuck you think we star for Pull up in that all lord and brothers and car doors Oh, he well, he we done hella down for a while. You been frontin' in the crowd. We been bugging, trying to make this money pile. Look, I ain't coming down for a while. Keep on frontin' on the sound. Better thug, thug when you hit the bow. Look, I've been chasing bass for a minute. I see they get offended. All this cat, cat, cash in my sense. Look, I've been a man for a minute. She cheating on a man. Hit my dad, dance, dance while I'm in it. Look, finna make a killing. We kept it a buck. Now niggas make it a million. Used to catch the bus. Now it stars all in the ceiling. Shorty wanna fuck. I promise that I'ma drill it. Cause I got knocked in the bitch. Stay down, never switch. Came home in the six. Oh, he lit. Lord to my niggas and my bitch. But my bitch got a bitch. Is it better than a bitch? Let me tell you how we live. Ain't no telling what we did. Jesse Jeff throwing niggas out their crib. Look, it is what it is. They hate it when the nigga on this shit. But the way this young is spitting, get a bib, little bitch. We done hella down for a while. You been frontin' in the crowd. We been bugging, trying to make this money pile up. I ain't 
coming down for a while. Keep on fronting on the sound. Better duck, duck when you hit the bow. Look, I've been chasing bass for a minute. I see they get offended. All this cat, cat, cash in my sense. Look, I've been a man for a minute. She cheating on a man. Hit my dad, dad, dance so while I'm in it. We done held it down for a while. You been fronting in the crowd. We been bugging, trying to make this money pow. Look, I ain't coming down for a while. Keep on fronting on the sound. Better duck, duck when you hit the bow. Look, I've been chasing bass for a minute. I see they get offended. All this cat, cat, cash in my sense. Look, I've been a man for a minute. She cheating on a man. Hit my dad, dad, dance so while I'm in it.